can support us completed novel house in link below clip. Thank you for coming and love the sharing story chapter 481, the first preliminary round has ended. The applause lasted for more than 10 seconds. Everyone was still clapping like there was no way to stop. This scene, where the audience gave such a passionate response, surprised Yao Jintsai. He found it unexpected. Were they f asterisk asterisk king giving this applause to us? Previously, when he matched lines with Zhong Yi, they had only picked a few lines to practice. The both of them did not have the time to do any systematic practice. Actually, Yao Jintsai did not have a good idea of, I am a scholar. Some of the joke segments were added on by Zhong Yi in an impromptu fashion. The work was produced by Zhong Yi from beginning to end. Yao Jintsai was just going along with it. He felt that the crosstalk wouldn't be bad, and that the jokes were fresh, but he never expected the response from the audience to be this passionate. All right. The both of you are the absolute best. Teacher Zhong. Teacher Yao. What a great feeling. So exhilarating. Yao Jintsai felt excited too. In the past, he never had this sort of excitement when he did crosstalk. As he was in an artistic group in the past, he would follow the group to do shows for elderly folks. If not, it would be a performances in the rural villages or at some random school. They were all small stages and the performance fees were not a lot. There were no tickets either and he just received a fixed salary. His performance at crosstalk with his previous partner was average too, so naturally he did not enjoy much popularity. The audience's reaction wasn't good either, which made him lose his confidence. Hence, he had abandoned crosstalk and embarked down the path of acting. This had always been a regret in his heart. But today, Yao Jintsai had once again found the excitement and confidence he once felt when he stood on stage for the first time, doing his first crosstalk performance more than a decade ago. F asterisk asterisk K, so I can actually do so well. So there were so many people who liked listening to my crosstalk. Yao Jintsai found it difficult to find himself as he clasped his hands and said, Thank you, thank you everyone. Zhong Yi also smiled and thanked the audience. He was pleased with the audience's reaction. It also indicated that he had made the correct bet. It showed that the crosstalk works that led years ahead of this world would still work even in this world. This was one of the most mature works of Guo Di Gang in a small theatre, scholar. The main subject was this, but Zhong Yi had added a few things in, and changed bits of it. For example, the joke about, biting materials, came from Zhong Yi's own wisdom. I can't wait to ask this question. The female judge did not sit down and instead, stayed standing as she picked up her microphone. The moment she spoke, the applause from the audience began to slowly die down. The female judge said, I want to know who produced this work. Yao Jiantsai chuckled. Do you think I have that sort of literary talent? The female judge looked at Zhong Yi, it was all created by teacher Little Zhong? Yao Jintsai patted Zhong Yi on the shoulder. Idea, theme, packaging, and pacing were all done by my old brother here in a single night. Zhong Yi smiled and said, it's mainly thanks to teacher Yao being able to carry me well. Yao Jintsai said, ha ha, it is also partly that. Zhong Yi said, we have an agreement that it's 30% of the main character, and 70% the fall guy. Yao Jintsai said, indeed, there is. Zhong Yi said, to do good crosstalk, the main character and fall guy have to have conflict, so lacking anything would not work. Yao Jintsai said, that's right. Zhong Yi said, there are four things to do in crosstalk, lie, cheat, steal, and fall. Yao Jintsai said, hey, why did you change it? It speak, learn, amuse, and sing. Zhong Yi said, right, firstly, the thing about speak isn't simple. Yao Jintsai said, tell me about it. The audience were stunned for a moment before they laughed again. The competition was over. The judge just asked you a question, but why did the both of you begin another round of crosstalk? The female judge was extremely delighted. Well done, I can't even cut in. Teachers, let me interject. This year's crosstalk competition has twice the number of recording venues as last year's, so the second preliminary will begin tomorrow at its earliest. Will we be able to hear from you tomorrow? John Yi said yes with a smile. He and old Yao were just playing a joke. 
the female judge looked at them and said, it should be an evaluation period after this, but I really have no idea how to comment on your work. Teacher Chu, do you have any comments? The third judge sitting beside her shook his hand. You do it. The female judge looked at teacher Chu and said, I'm not a professional crosstalk actress, but as a gala's director, I frequently come into contact with crosstalk works. I've heard at least a hundred, if not two hundred crosstalk performances. I can't say much about the technical angle of your works, but from a personal point of view, this is the best crosstalk performance that I have ever heard since I was born. There is no match. This evaluation was too high. The audience gave their applause once again. Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai said, Thank you, teacher. For some reason, the head judge did not give any comments. The other two professional crosstalk actors also remained silent and did not comment. They did not comment on the work from any professional point of view, allowing the female judge to do so for them. This was unprecedented. It was the same off stage, too. Tang Dajang remained silent. Tang Dajang's fellow seniors and juniors all turned silent. One could tell that these crosstalk actors all had ugly expressions. Who knew that not only Zhong Yi could do crosstalk, he could even do it so superbly and in such a wonderful manner. Although they never laughed from beginning to end, they knew in their hearts that the burdens Zhong Yi threw out were stunning. Many of them had been in crosstalk for decades, but only today did they learn that crosstalk could be done in such a f asterisk asterisk king manner. In fact, many people from crosstalk knew, and had communicated this in private, that the crosstalk world had reached a bottleneck. They were walking in place for many years, and although the symptoms weren't obvious, it was already a declining trend. However, John Yees, I am a scholar, had given all these crosstalk actors a taste of a new, postmodern, flavor. Postmodern did not mean that it had transcended reality, but instead meant that it had exceeded the standards of this era. It was leading this era's standards. Everything was linked. One burden after another. It was different from their traditional methods of delivery. It had attained maximum entertainment for commercial viability. It had pushed the highlight of crosstalk, humor, to the forefront. From the reactions of the audience, regardless if Tang Dajang and company liked it or disliked it, the audience liked it. This was the greatest award that a crosstalk performance could receive. This could be also said that it had broken through the bottleneck for the future crosstalk industry, known as commercial crosstalk. What was a bit ironic was that this commercial, postmodern, Crosstalk work was thrown out by a television host who had never learned crosstalk. A layman had taught so many crosstalk seniors a lesson. This was something they could not accept. Furthermore, the usage of a few terms and packaging in the work felt tawdry, and felt disdain for it. However, Zhong Yi didn't care what they thought or how they evaluated it. In fact, Zhong Yi had never thought highly of a person like Tang Dajang. The performance was over. The next group of contestants went on stage. Zhong Yi and Yao Jiansai bade farewell to the audience. As they disembarked the stage with arms over each other's shoulders, they walked out of the recording studio. Old Yao, your reaction was pretty quick. Zhong Yi said with a smile. Yao Jiansai chuckled. Although a few lines were improvised on the spot by you, I am a professional after all, so I could match you well. Saying that, he laughed again. Hey but when comparing the two of us, it is as if you are the professional crosstalk actor. I'm even wondering how you got all the basics down so well? How is that mouth of yours made? Zhong Yi laughed. Don't forget I earn a living using this mouth. I never practiced crosstalk in the past, but this mouth of mine is my forte after all. I don't dare to speak about other things, but when it comes to scolding and trampling on others, I have never lost. I can tell. Yao Jinsai said, your wickedness is all over your mouth. Well done, after you trampled on me, you even trampled my wife. Don't you run. We agreed previously that you have to go home with me this afternoon. You need to talk to her. Zhong Yi said in exasperation, don't. I'm not going. Yao Jinsai grabbed onto him without letting him go. Ha ha, that won't do. Zhong Yi smiled and said, I'm afraid she will beat me up. As the two of them chatted, there were a few anxious shouts in front of them. Has it been halted? It's already halted. Ah yeah, but it's already too late. Do you know what happened? 
Something big has happened. What's the matter? The two band celebrities were broadcasted live on the internet by the station. I heard our head of this segment misheard the instructions of the higher-ups and made a mistake. Ah? Wouldn't that be big trouble? That's right. The station leaders are infuriated. I believe he will be held accountable eventually. After all, decree number 43 has just been announced, yet our department 11 immediately went against it. Man, this is going to be a huge mess. That teacher Jong fellow is still a god of plague. He leaves destruction in his wake everywhere he goes. But you don't say. Zhong Yi's character might be a bit wicked, and his temper is a bit like a hooligan, but did you hear his I am a scholar? It was truly awesome. Really? Go watch it. He's completely on a different level than those other contestants. I was listening outside and was laughing in stitches. Everyone in the program team were discussing it. When Yao Jinsai heard this, he was stunned. What? It was broadcasted live? Holy sure asterisk T. Is this reality or fantasy? A mistake? Could there be such a coincidence? Ha 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 ha. Old bro, God is helping us. God? That esteemed person isn't so free. Zhong Yi was amused upon hearing this. Maybe amongst everyone who knew of this matter, he was the only one who knew the true reason. This was F asterisk asterisk king all due to the five times difficulty reduction from the dice. He was initially worried how to let everyone see this work of his, but now, Zhong Yi was completely relieved. Chapter 482, First. The live broadcast ended. There were only positive comments from the netizens. That's freaking classic. The sword of a hero doesn't age, the madam's beauty never wanes. Ah ha 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 ha. That brain of teacher Zhong Yi is really too quick-witted. He's worthy of being labeled as a treasure of humanity. I didn't expect that ten short minutes of cross-talking could be done in such an extraordinary way. That was too fun. I got goosebumps listening to that. That was very satisfying. But that was bordering on the line of controversy, ha ha. It's acceptable since the preliminaries are only broadcasted over the internet, so the censors would have less stringent standards for it. If it were broadcasted live on TV, then Zhong Yi would have to modify quite a few of his joke segments. They would definitely not have allowed him to say that. I believe you shouldn't even think about a live broadcast on TV. Take a look at the official website. The live broadcast has been halted. I am a scholar was there a moment ago, but now it has been deleted. What? Deleted? Then why did they air it live? I heard that it was aired erroneously due to some unexpected complications with communication. Which means the ban on Teacher Zhong and Teacher Yao remains indefinitely. Damn it. I was happy for nothing. I thought Central TV ignored the ban. So it was just a mistake. All traces of I am a scholar had disappeared from the competition's official website. Many netizens, who had not watched the live broadcast, had rushed in to take a look at the crosstalk deemed as a classic by so many. They immediately began to rouse as some even began cursing. Why is it gone? We haven't watched it yet. Numerous people began lodging complaints with the official website. However, Central TV's Department 11 remained indifferent to them. They were completely ignored. However, just as everyone was feeling a great sense of regret, a small video website posted a video of I am a scholar. It was obvious that it had been recorded straight from the live stream, as it was identical. Furthermore, it was also a high-resolution version. Following that, numerous video websites and discussion forums also posted Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai's crosstalk performance. Of course, they were not posted by the websites, but were uploaded by netizens. Everyone was amused. It is so timely. Nice, I can watch it again. Ha ha, empowering. F asterisk asterisk K. I finally got to see it. No wonder so many people gave their kudos. This crosstalk is absolutely wonderful. At this moment, a heritage of intangible culture that was passed down from China's Song Dynasty revealed its power once more. Piracy. A few videos of I Am a Scholar were taken down from several video websites. 
it was unknown if it was the website's doing or because they had received orders from higher management. Clicking on the video would return a video does not exist error, but immediately following that, there would be more pirated copies appearing on other video websites. Deleting one, sprouted two. Deleting two would sprout ten. There was no way of completely deleting them all. Even on mainstream video websites, the views on I am a scholar had risen so much that it was in the trending rankings. In a short moment, it had reached the top 20. Similarly, the votes for Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai were rising. The national crosstalk competition had been going strong for about six or seven hours now. The competition was intense. A few excellent crosstalk works were very well liked, and their fans rushed to vote for them. They wished that the excellent crosstalk actors would be pushed to the top. Before the end of the voting, the first to third place votes were enjoying a stable position. The third ranked group was a black horse. No one had heard of these two new crosstalk actors in the past. Second place was a somewhat famous pair of crosstalk actors. The person who currently in first place was the crosstalk actor who had to pull out last year's competition due to health complications. Although he had yet to perform, the amount of popularity he enjoyed was just too high, so he had already received a large number of votes. Some people evaluated that, if not for his pulling out due to health reasons, last year's champion would definitely have been him. Hence, this teacher Peng was temporarily in first place with 8,300 votes. As for Tang Dazhang's two disciples in Division C, they were ranked fifth. They were, however, ranked first within Division C. Of course, these numbers were from 10 minutes ago, before Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai had gone on stage. Now, the rankings of the preliminaries had undergone a groundbreaking change. And it was one that made everyone burst out with laughter. Why? That was because in the voting options for the competition, Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai's names were not written at all. It was as if these two band contestants were not participating in the competition. The listings of the contestants from Division C were on the second page, and they were densely packed with text, but on the eighth line, Division C, team number eight was empty. There was no name on it, but there was a voting radio button on the right, similar to every other contestant's. There was no name, but they could still receive votes. Anyone who paid a bit of attention could guess who the blank name belonged to. Hence, during the live broadcast, the voting numbers began changing. A 100 votes. A 1000 votes. 2000 votes. When the live broadcast ended, when I Am a Scholar began to go viral on the internet, the values had paused slightly before instantly exploding. 10,000. 50,000. 100,000. Finally, under everyone's unbelieving gaze, in just half an hour, Teacher Peng, who was previously first with over 9,000 votes, was now second and first place belonged to the two crosstalk actors with blank names. Yes. The names were blank. And the votes amounted to 110,000. It was more than 10 times higher than Teacher Peng, who was now in second place. There were even people who did some calculations, and realized that the total votes received by these two blank crosstalk actors was more than the votes received by the first 50 contestants in the crosstalk competition combined. Holy F asterisk asterisk K. That's too fierce. This is crazy. My eyes. It was a total wipeout. It was an inhuman gap. At this moment, Central TV's Department 11 was stunned. The audience, that was paying careful attention to the competition, was stunned. Those crosstalk competition contestants were also stunned. Many people had yet to understand what was happening. A Division J contestant exclaimed, What's this? Why are there so many votes? And there's no name? Did the system make a mistake? A Division G contestant even lodged a complaint. What's up with first place? There's a problem. Someone must be faking votes. Someone from Division 1 shouted, It's a conspiracy. To increase so crazily to 110,000 votes in half an hour? Are we seeing a freaking ghost? That's impossible. In the preliminaries from previous years, the first place, after three rounds of preliminaries, would only have votes that numbered in the tens of thousands, but now? This was just the first day of the preliminaries. How could there be such a heaven-defying vote counts? 
this was a complete wipe out. Then what the hell are we here for? Just do it yourself. All of us can pack up and go home. The difference was too great. However, many of the audience, who were in the know, were amused seeing these people lodging complaints and shouting about conspiracy theories. They began replying below in volumes as if they had agreed on it earlier. Ha ha, person below, maintain formation. Ha ha, person below, maintain formation. Ha ha. A whole series of ha ha's appeared with more than a hundred replies. Finally, a kind person explained to them. As to what happened, go take a look at, I am a scholar, and you'll know. Oh right, it's not on the official website. You can only watch a pirated copy on another video website. Well, as for it being a conspiracy, all of you can probably guess correctly. There is indeed a conspiracy, but it is one of banning. Take a look at the votes for the two nameless people. They actually received that many votes while under a complete ban. If they were not banned, the official website would have written their names. If their videos could be put up, I believe the number of votes they receive would be even higher. Number one on the rankings was just too eye-catching. 110,000 votes was too eye-catching. Even though there was no name, with Central TV's Department 11 concealing it somewhat, how could anyone who had voted for, nameless, not know who they really were? Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai had really conquered all the members of the audience with their crosstalk performance. This was why they received such an overwhelming number of votes. It was because after watching I Am a Scholar, the audience found it hard to swallow any other crosstalk performance, even if they had liked them in the past. It was like the difference between a Scud missile and a nuclear bomb. They were both bombs, but there was a qualitative difference. The latter led the former by leaps and bounds in terms of technology. Zhong Yi's crosstalk was similar. First place. Everyone is truly supportive. Ha ha ha, there are so many people supporting Teacher Yao and Teacher Zhong. That's because everyone's aesthetic standards are about the same. This first place is truly well deserved. There is no other way besides it. There is no room for doubt either. I think some people's faces are already swollen. Those people who shouted daily, saying how Zhong Yi was doomed. Come on out and shout for me again. Despite being banned, teacher Zhong Yi has been able to turn the tides and appear back in the eyes of our nation. He accomplished whatever needed to be done. What sort of heaven-defying act is this? So what if he's banned? Teacher Zhong's popularity still grows. He can still carry on dazzling in the entertainment industry. Well said. Zhong Yi won't go down. Teacher Zhong did not do anything wrong to begin with. Him being banned was unjustified. Now, all is fine. I'm really happy for teacher John Yi. Finally, he can vent the pent-up anger in him. Old Yao also suffered from injustice. Ha ha, I'm giving a like to both teachers. Hold unyielding. No matter where the winds blow from. Just thinking of teacher John's line in that poem, it's uplifting. Teacher John has not disappointed us. Well done. The two of them were still tough despite knowing they were in a powerless situation. Even though they knew it was hard to go against the tides, they still shouted on stage, shouting their voice out for everyone to hear. Don't you think it's admirable? No matter how the outside world evaluates Zhong Yi, in my heart, Zhong Yi is a heroic warrior. Heroes never fall. Teacher Zhong, hold on. The tenacious fight Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai had performed touched many people. People began leaving messages and cheering for them. In the overall rankings of the preliminaries, the votes for the nameless team kept soaring. Even on the celebrity rankings, the situation where Tang Dazhang, who was nearly about to surpass Zhong Yi, was reversed. With this explosive increase, from the numbers in the detailed page, Zhong Yi's rankings shot up in a straight line by three or four rankings. He was no longer the third from the bottom amongst C-list celebrities. As for Tang Dazhang, he was still hovering amidst the D-list celebrities. Every time he was about to catch up to Zhong Yi, no matter what, he would fail to do so. Now, with I Am A Scholar released, Tang Dazhang's hope for climbing into the C-list rankings was slim. As for thinking about surpassing Zhong Yi, it was probably much more realistic for him to surpass the lowest person on the C-list celebrities. 
After Zhong Yi's crosstalk performance, the distance between him and Tang Dazhang increased even more. Chapter 483, This is what a man of God is. Afternoon. A little past two. This was probably the warmest point of the day. While under the winter sun, Zhong Yi's BMW X5 slowly drove into an upscale residential district with Yao Jintsai. There, I brought you here. Zhong Yi stopped the car. Yao Jintsai tugged at him. Cut the crap. Go up with me. Zhong Yi exclaimed, You are insisting on pulling me to be your shield? Yao Jintsai laughed and said, If you don't come, my wife probably won't even open the door for me. Hurry, how can you not help your brother out? Zhong Yi said helplessly, I'm mainly afraid of her beating me to death. After a long period of heckling, Zhong Yi finally went up together with Yao Jintsai. Upstairs. Yao Jintsai rubbed his hands together before pressing the doorbell nervously and gently. A moment later, footstep could be heard approaching the door. It was the pitter patter of slippers. Then, the door's peephole went dark. Clearly, someone was leaning over to look out at them. Yao Jintsai hurriedly said, Dear, it's me. There was no movement inside. The peephole brightened once more. It was as if the person had walked away. Yao Jintsai anxiously knocked on the door. Dear, open the door. Let me in first. We can talk. Daughter? Where's my daughter? Open the door for dad. With the door in between them, they could hear a vague conversation between women, but they could not make out what was being said. Yao Jintsai could not do a thing. He could only move back and stretch out his hand to gesture towards Zhong Yi. Zhong Yi had no choice but to walk forward and knock on the door. Sister, it's me, Zhong Yi. I happened to drop by with old Yao to say hello to you. I brought you some fruits too. With that, Zhong Yi received a treatment completely different from Yao Jintsai. In less than two seconds, the door was unlocked, revealing a middle-aged woman's face. She was slightly plump and had a couple look with Yao Jintsai. She hurriedly opened the gate and said with a warm smile. It's teacher Zhong. Come on in. Zhong Yi smiled and said, nice to meet you sister. I was in such a rush that I didn't buy anything much except this bit of fruit, as well as some of the brain gold that I'm endorsing. Wu Mo had given Zhong Yi many boxes of brain gold. He kept it in his car and could use it at any time. Since brain gold was meant to be given as a gift, it was very apartment Fan Yi exclaimed, you are too kind. You don't have to bring anything when you come here. You are our MIMI's teacher. I was wondering when to pay you a visit, but it ended up with you coming first. Yao MI also jumped out of the room with bright eyes. Teacher Zhong. Zhong Yi greeted her. Fanny sat Zhong Yi down. Teacher Zhong, how's our MIMI studies? Is she especially naughty in school? Not at all. Yao MI is serious and hardworking. She is also very motivated and often asks if she's unsure of something. It's a good thing that she likes to get to the bottom of things. Zhong Yi said politely. Fanny poured a cup of water for him and then made some tea. She said with a chuckle, This child isn't very obedient, so please give more attention to her at school. If she's naughty, feel free to punish her. You don't have to give us face. Yao Mi couldn't stand for this as she said, Mom, I'm already a college student. How can you talk like I'm still a young child? Furthermore, I'm so obedient at school. I've never played truant when it comes to teacher Zhong's class. Fanny said, so that means you play truant for other classes? The three of them began chatting. Yao Jintsai was left hanging in the corner. He coughed again and again, but other than Zhong Yi glancing at him, the mother-daughter duo ignored him. Zhong Yi could tell that they needed a way to ease into the situation. Fanny probably already knew that old Yao had been a victim in all of this, so he said, Sister, for the matter previously, I can vouch for old Yao that there was truly nothing going on. Give me some face and don't fault him. Yao Jintsai said at the appropriate time, Yes, yes. There truly was nothing. I can swear to the heavens. Fanny looked at old Yao and tea scared. She then turned her head back at Zhong Yi and changed into a kindly expression, saying, Teacher Zhong. It is because you came and I gave you face. If not, I would not have let him enter. 
I don't believe a single word of his, while your words. Dot I believe them. Yao Jinsai said, yes, yes. A teacher of the people doesn't tell lies. Fanny ignored him and said, has he been staying at your place for the past two days? Sorry for causing you trouble. Zhong Yi smiled and said, you are welcome. It's fine. At this point, Fanny leered at old Yao. Sit. What are you standing there for? Yao Jinsai exclaimed and immediately leaned towards the sofa in high spirits. He then poured a cup of tea for himself while smiling. He knew he was going to be fine. Yao Mi was never angry, but had been going along with her mother's song and dance. Seeing her mother turn soft, she went out to cross her arm around one of Yao Jinsai's arm with a grin. Dad, I watched the internet live broadcast. Your crosstalk performance with teacher Zhong today was wonderful. It was so humorous. Yao Jinsai began bragging, of course. Who do you think your dad is? A professional crosstalk actor, and having debuted for so many years. Although I haven't performed for some time, all my basic foundations are still there. Fanny deflated him by saying, what are you bragging about? It was all teacher Zhong carrying you. Yao Jinsai smiled and said, that's true. My old brother's creative genius was absolutely wonderful. There was not a single fault to pick for the dozen or so burden jokes in the crosstalk performance from start to finish. Zhong Yi smiled and said, Sis, I came here to offer my humble apology. That joke was a joke and nothing more, so I hope you won't mind it. Fan Yi said with a laugh, Do you think I'm so petty? Don't forget old Yao was previously in the crosstalk line. As a family member of a crosstalk artist, if I couldn't take such a small joke, then what else can I do? Besides, that the madam's beauty never wanes sentence really amused me greatly. Yao M I yelped, I was laughing in stitches when I heard it. Ha ha ha. Yao Jinsai raised his chin. Little Zhong, isn't my wife magnanimous? Zhong Yi gave a big thumbs up, magnanimous. Fan Yi stared at old Yao and said, stop trying to flatter me. When teacher Zhong is gone, I'll have it out with you. Old bro, then you are prohibited from leaving today, Yao Jinsai said with a laugh, stay for dinner. Taste my wife's cooking. She previously nagged me to invite you over for a meal, but you were busy, and I was busy, so we never had the time. Now that the both of us are free, and have no work to do, you must eat this meal. Let's have a good drink together. Giving you a treat sure isn't easy. Fan Yi invited him. Yes, I'll go buy groceries in a while. Zhong Yi did not stand on ceremony. All right, then I'll be in for a treat today. Following that, the four of them began to talk and laugh together. It was obvious that Fan Yi thought highly of Zhong Yi. Firstly, he was a Peking University lecturer, and could take care of Yao Mi in school in certain ways. Secondly, Zhong Yi and old Yao's crosstalk performance had awed her greatly. Their working relationship would tighten as a result. Thirdly, Yao Jiantsai had many disreputable friends, but none of them were his true friends. Zhong Yi was a true friend, so Fan Yi naturally treated Zhong Yi as a VIP. A short while later, she had finished grocery shopping and preparing dinner. There were about nine dishes and was quite a sumptuous meal. On the other side, Zhong Yi and Yao Jiantsai also became busy as they began receiving quite a few phone calls. Mom's phone call. Son. Mom, did you see my crosstalk? Of course. Your dad even smacked his thighs and cheered. Your sisters were at our place this afternoon too. They praised you to the moon. Nice going. You weren't an embarrassment to me. Of course, how could I be an embarrassment? What are you going to do for the next preliminary round? I haven't thought of anything yet. I'll think about it in a while. Former leader, who face phone call. Ha ha, little Jong. Boss. I just learned that you can do crosstalk. Hey, it was all nonsense. If that was nonsense, then few people in this world can do it well. Back then, I thought you were a layman. Who knew that you are really more professional than those professional crosstalk actors? Big Saber Bro, Fanning Yoon's phone call. Teacher Jong, nice luck. Central TV actually gave you a live broadcast? That's right. I was just lucky. 
This seems like the precursor of you causing a stir in the crawlstalk world. I support you. Fight it out with them. My large saber can no longer endure the thirst. Man. Many friends came calling. There were well wishes, congratulations, and some were that of shock. Some of them craved to see the world burn. Everyone said something different, but all of them basically supported Zhong Yi. They also gave a very high evaluation of Zhong Yi's performance. They were once again convinced by Zhong Yi's capabilities. A few days ago, when the ban was issued, everyone believed that there would be no way for Zhong Yi to rise up again, that he would no longer be able to continue staying in the entertainment industry. They believed that he would only be able to switch careers to do something else, but who knew, that in just a few days, Zhong Yi managed to open up a path in the crawlstalk world that no one expected despite an all-out ban placed on him. It was too shocking. His popularity was increasing by the day. Was this even a ban? Why was he gaining momentum? Many people could not help but laugh. What was a man of God? Maybe this was what it meant to be a man of God. The type of person that could never be understood or sized up using common sense. Chapter 484, Second Work is Decided. That night. I am a scholar went completely viral. The votes for the two nameless people continued to soar. 130,000, 150,000. 200,000. It had long since broken the historical records for the National Crawstalk and Skit Competitions preliminaries. Furthermore, it broke the record every second, creating new history. If one did not have an intuitive concept of the number of votes, then a simple tabulation of the votes would be enough to explain it. According to the numbers, from the beginning of the competition in the morning to this point in time, more than a thousand contestants had received a total of 286,000 votes. That was to say, the netizens had nearly voted 300,000 times in total, and the crawstalk team, nameless people, had obtained more than half of the votes. 1 vs more than a thousand. 200,000 vs 86,000. This was absolute victory through an overwhelming number of votes. This was a disparity so dazzling, that no one could look at it straight. Nearly every commoner praised it. They had never experienced a completely new form of commercial crawlstalk. The reviews were very good. However, in contrast with the delight of the commoners, some others had extremely polar reactions. The media remained silent. Not many media outlets published any comments on this. The title, I am a scholar, was not even mentioned, let alone the names, Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai. It was as if they lived in a different dimension from everyone else. A few media outlets even scrambled to report about a few crawlstalk artists who did pretty well in the preliminaries, such as Tang Dazhang's two disciples. Two newspapers even praised them to the heavens, saying that they had inherited Tang Dazhang's mantle and that their performance in the preliminaries was extremely outstanding. There was also the person ranked second in the preliminaries, which the media reported as a branch of a tree that thrived and outshone others. After seeing this, many netizens laughed in ridicule. What a joke! Are we living in the same world? If Tang Dazhang's disciples are considered extremely outstanding, then what would you consider Teacher Zhong and Teacher Yao? Wouldn't they be stunning the entire universe? It's too fake. What sort of news is this? Even if the criminalized artists have been banned, shouldn't news be about seeking out the truth? Is it right for these newspapers to report it in such a way? Aren't they trying to mislead the public? Since they have to write it this way, let's just wait and see. Anyway, any wise person knows what is going on. They really think the commoners are stupid. The media is such a bully. Do you even believe the sinister reports that you put out yourself? If Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai's work had not been aired live, or if they did not cause such a stir, everyone would probably have been fooled by the media's coverage. However, anyone who paid any attention to this year's national crawlstalk competition would know about the underlying conspiracy. This was no longer something that could be covered up. Everyone knew what was going on, so the more the media covered it up, the more the commoners felt disgusted. Then, on Weibo, a self-titled, critic, stepped forward. This person was an internet celebrity. His true name was unknown and no one knew what his job was. He was quite loud-mouthed and often attacked celebrities and famous people on the internet. 
After a series of scoldings, the number of Weibo fans he reached was more than 200,000. He would often give his take on anything that recently happened. His nickname was Alexander. After watching the I Am a Scholar crosstalk, I really do not understand what sort of madness Central TV's Department 11 fell into. They even dared to stream such a worthless crosstalk live? There was an internal mistake? I think the relevant personnel should resign. To not do their jobs while receiving their wages, what are you doing? This crosstalk has really amused me because it was so bad. Crawlstalk is an art, so why did it become so morally degrading when it was produced by the two of them? Is this still considered crawlstalk? Are you just going to focus on humor? I can't even see the most basic artistic flair of a crawlstalk in their work. Showing this work is embarrassing. And there were so many joke segments that were jarring to the ear. This was only an internet live stream, so the boundaries could be pushed a bit further, but no matter how much you push, you can't destroy crosstalk in such a manner. For the both of them, I only have a simple evaluation, vulgar, base, and philistine. Then another famous critic spoke out on Weibo. Decree number 43 was just issued. The document explicitly states that playing to the gallery through indulging in vulgar jokes or works with the three vulgarities, sex-obsessed, mindless, and tasteless culture, including crosstalk are not allowed. Now, decree number 43 has yet to even lose its warmth, yet John Yi and Yao Jintsai have already committed an offense despite the headwind? Aren't they a bit too arrogant? I don't even want to evaluate this, I am a scholar, piece of work. It's completely vulgar inside and out. It is impossible for it to enter the sacred halls of elegance. I suggest that the Central TV's Department 11 and the National Crosstalk and skit competitions organizers disqualify Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai. Following that, Tang Dazhang from the Crosstalk competition issued a statement. He even named names on Weibo. I am very disappointed and distressed that a work that insults the art of Crosstalk can be so well received. Whether I am a scholar is funny or not, I would not comment on it, but the art known as crosstalk doesn't have humor at its core. Since my trade is considered an art, then it has its mission and values. It shouldn't be something that denigrates things left behind by our ancestors. No matter what crosstalk work it is, it has to have the most basic depth and scope. If it's full of vulgar joke segments, that isn't crosstalk. We from the crosstalk world will never acknowledge this as a form of crosstalk. Subsequently, another famous critic from China appeared. Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai's crosstalk had great commercial value to it. When I watched it, there was indeed a few things worthy of ruminating over, but it was just a few things. If crosstalk wants to break its current limitations and bottleneck, it has to rely on the most core artistic values. By losing that, then that's attending to trifles to the neglect of essentials. Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai have crossed industries and have gone astray and have gone down the wrong path. It is a great pity. If a crosstalk master were willing to guide them, these two people might have a chance on returning to the orthodox path. It would prevent them from going too far astray. I suggest that Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai watch teacher Tang Dazhang's crosstalk works. That is true crosstalk art, and so, it's best you learn more from your seniors. Don't make your work be filled with the three vulgarities. The moment this bunch of people appeared, many official institutions stood forward too. For example, Beijing Writers Association's Vice President Meng Dongguo, or the leader of the Folk Art Association, or a few crosstalk artists from crosstalk organizations. There were even many contestants who were participating in this year's crosstalk competition. They shouted on the internet, publicly denouncing Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai. Extremely vulgar. Is this still considered crosstalk? How can such vulgar crosstalk receive so many votes? It is definitely fake votes. Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai have many fans to begin with since they are entertainers. It is normal for their fans to fake votes for them. Compared to them, how are we crosstalk contestants to compete evenly with them? They didn't win using their work, but their massive fan base. They did not win fair and square. I suggest that their votes and qualifications be removed. Right, letting Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai participate in the competition is already unfair to us crosstalk actors. He is a C-list celebrity, so how many fans does he have? Supporting teacher Tang. The critics said it so well. That's right. 
they voiced out what I wanted to say. Everyone should collectively resist such crawlstalk that are filled with the three vulgarities. I was wondering why there are people that like such vulgar crawlstalks. Do you even have a tiny bit of appreciation for art? Can't you tell what's elegant and vulgar? I don't understand either. What's up with the audience these days? There were so many outstanding crawlstalk artistic works they did not like, yet they ended up liking such a vulgar crawlstalk performance. Hi, now crawlstalk is really getting tough. We've studied and practiced so hard, performing in earnest, yet we failed to get a tiny bit of recognition. Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai just came up with some crappy performance and they received the praises of numerous people? Can't the audience appreciate things at all now? I'm actually quite depressed. I'm mourning over our crawlstalk, as well as our generation. Hi. Boycott Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai. Right, boycott vulgarity. They only focus on humor. This kind of crawlstalk can't even be considered crawlstalk. Numerous people from the literary world, the crawlstalk world, celebrities, and relevant artists came out to denounce Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai. The normal populace were all applauding it, but the official organizations and relevant artists were cursing at Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai incessantly. This contrast was too great. They were both watching the same piece of work, yet it produced two completely different voices. When neutral people saw this, they could not understand the situation. They had seen controversies, but they had never seen such a huge controversy before. 9 plus p.m. Jiaoman, Zhong Yi's house. After Zhong Yi had dinner at old Yao's house, he returned home with Yao Jinsai. They had to rush their preparations for tomorrow's second preliminary round. Instead, just after returning home, they saw the scene on the internet. A bunch of people from the literary world, critics, and internet celebrities were discussing them and full of condemnation. It was as if Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai had a blood feud with them. All of them hated them to the bone. Yao Jintsai cursed, a bunch of mad dogs. Zhong Yi smiled and said, they even said the audience doesn't know what crawlstalk is. Your performance isn't well received and you blame the audience. Beijing has a saying, it says don't blame the toilet when you can't shit. I think it's pretty appropriate to giving them that. Oh, that Tang Dazhang also stepped forward. I ignored him, but he still doesn't know his bounds. He comes time and time again to trample on me. All right, I've remembered you. And those few people. Internet celebrities? Critics? All right? Yao Jintsai said, ignore them. Let's just focus on doing a good job. Zhong Yi laughed. Old Yao, I've already decided on what to we will do tomorrow. Yao Jintsai was stunned. Huh, you said you haven't thought of it when I asked you on the way back. You already have an idea so quickly? Yes, after seeing their criticisms, a piece of work flashed in Zhong Yi's mind. He made the decision immediately. They had taken the initiative to give him the materials for the work. These people had tried to ride over him a few times. If he didn't take a bite out from them, that clearly wasn't Zhong Yi's style. Chapter 485, I Will Reject the Three Vulgarities the second day. Around noon. Central TV's Department 11's program team began contacting every contestant to inform them that the preliminary round had been completed. They asked them to gather for the recording of the next round of competition rules by 2 p.m. This year's rules and competition progress were slightly different from the previous years. The pace of this year's competition was much faster than before, with the preliminary rounds, which had taken three to four days before, now shortened to only one and a half days. This was because Central TV had approved the usage of many more recording studios, so even with over a thousand groups of contestants and ten minutes per performance, the recording progress moved very quickly. At the venue, the contestants were all gathered before 2 p.m. In front of them was a large screen where the votes for each contestant pair were flashily updated in real time. It still wasn't time for the polling to be closed yet, so the numbers were still constantly changing. Aya, I'm dropping off. Damn, I can't make it into the top 500 either. I heard that the competition has started eliminating contestants from the preliminary rounds, and only 500 teams will be able to advance to the second round. Then from there, only 100 teams will make it through to the third round. I'm currently in 488th place.
this is cutting it too close. Old Jong, you did well this time. At 231st place, you will definitely advance to the second round. Teacher Wang, congratulations on being placed so high. Oh, my ranking is too low. I guess I can only come back and try again next year. In their discussions, many of them naturally talked about the team that was in the lead far above. Everyone knew who the nameless team was. Suddenly, two people walked into the venue. Ah, here they come. Be quiet. Stop talking about them already. It's Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai. The leading team has arrived. When Zhong Yi and Old Yao came into the studio, the crowd toned down their discussions about the two of them. Many of them looked over at them and some even pointed at them as they talked about them in hushed whispers. Amongst these people, there were those who had denounced Zhong Yi on Weibo the previous night. They scolded Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai, calling them tasteless, but now that the two of them were standing before them, no one dared to mention it anymore. They couldn't say anything as Zhong Yi's reputation was so terrible. Wasn't Li Anson famous as well? Still, Zhong Yi had him beaten him like it was nothing. Let alone small timers like them, which was why, even if many of them had something against him, they wouldn't dare clash directly with Zhong Yi. Zhong Yi was famous for his bad reputation and violence. At this moment, the hosts went on stage. When it was time, the first round of voting came to an end. The cameras were now switched on and recording as the event was broadcasted live all over the internet. An event like the announcement of rankings would definitely be allocated a live broadcast slot since it would definitely attract good viewership and high ratings. The host, Wang ji smiled and said, My dear friends of the audience and contestants, I hope you're all doing well. The technical team has already closed the first round of polling. Only the top 500 teams will advance to the next round. With that, the host began to announce the results of who had qualified. Some people were beaming, while others fell into lonely silence. This announcement program progressed very slowly for about an hour. In between, the host also invited several popular crosstalk actors to give speeches on stage, and asked some of the eliminated contestants to give their reflection speeches. It was a program designed to invoke people's innermost feelings. The live broadcast ended. The second round of competition was about to begin. A dozen or so staff members, who were in charge of the teams, brought their laptops over looking for qualifying teams. They recorded the titles of their performances for the next round and informed them of their estimated timing for their team's performance. Those who were queued further back and not scheduled for recording today were allowed to go home. Their performances would be recorded on the following day instead. In front. Division CS staff team walked over to Tang Dajang's two disciples, hello. Zhong Xiao smiled, hello. The staff member said, what is the title of your performance? Liu Yuan said in a clear voice, the current state of crosstalk. The staff member recorded it down, your recording time is scheduled for around 4 p.m. That will be coming up pretty soon, so please begin preparing for it. After that, he took a look at his laptop and his eye twitched a little. He looked left and right to see where the next group, Zhong Yi and Yao Jiansai were standing before going up to them as well. Zhong Xiao and Liu Yuan did not move, but looked over at them. The staff asked, what about your performance title? Zhong Yi calmly replied, I will reject the three vulgarities. What? You want to reject the three vulgarities? What sort of performance was that? The staff member panicked for a moment and then looked at them in surprise. He thought that it was a joke, but Yao Jiansai repeated it once more upon seeing that the staff member had not written it down. Only then did he realize that this was a serious reply. What was the meaning of this? After the netizens had called them tasteless and said that they did not understand the art of crosstalk, were they thinking of turning over a new leaf today? Were they planning on doing a performance closer to the accepted mainstream crosstalks? They took the initiative to become a team that advocated positive performances? Or were they planning to use crosstalk to do some self-criticism? Reflect upon their own selves? The two of you were such spineless people? Zhong Xiao and Liu Yuan also looked at each other, at a loss of words when they heard the title. Were those two going to perform as the prodigal son who returns home, but the two of you had already angered so many people? Even if you wanted to salvage your reputation now, it was too late. 
they finally succumbed to the pressure? Ah, it's too late anyway. Around them, other people, who overheard it, also had a glimmer of doubt in their eyes. But Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai did not say anything else. The two of them had already gone to prepare at the recording studio's waiting room. They were even laughingly practicing with each other as they made their way over. After an hour, the studio staff came to get them. Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai both went along with them into the recording studio to have their makeup touched up and for a change of clothes. Yao Jinsai looked at Zhong Yi and said, Bro, are you really planning on saying that? Zhong Yi laughed, What do you think? Yao Jinsai was at a loss of whether to laugh or cry, isn't it too face smacking? If it wasn't face smacking, I wouldn't have chosen this performance. Zhong Yi said frankly. Yao Jinsai sighed in acknowledgement, I finally understood that, with my involvement with you in Crosstalk, I shouldn't expect my future to be stable anymore. Right now, the way we're going would make us everyone's enemy. Zhong Yi did not seem to mind. Instead, he even felt it was the norm. He said, since my debut, this has been happening every step of the way. I'm already used to it. This old bro is not used to it though. Yao Jinsai nearly fainted. After a few minutes, the both of them had gone backstage to do some preparations. They could hear Zhong Xiao and Liu Yuan, who were on stage performing their joke segments and the particular one they were doing right now was. Zhong Xiao, it's getting more and more low class. Liu Yuan, yes. Zhong Xiao, the crosstalk circle these days are in such a mess. It even attracted some people who do talk shows to come and earn their keep here. Some professional crosstalkers have also stooped to an all-time low. That was obviously targeted at Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai. When they finished the segment, the viewers and audience did not react. There was no cheers at all. But at the studio, there was quite a bit of laughter from the crosstalk actors who had come to watch and from the crosstalk judges. It felt as if they had just heard an extremely funny joke segment and were especially tickled. There were even some who clapped. The audience was left completely speechless and could only stare at each other. What was so funny about that? Did all of you people become crazy? F asterisk asterisk K, your sense of humor was too low. Zhong Yi looked at old Yao, so are we gonna say that or not? Yao Jinsai cursed out loudly, F asterisk asterisk K. We must definitely say it. We have to say this I will reject the three vulgarities. Chapter 486, Arrival of the Jinx. Central TV. In a particular break room. Hey, old Tang, you were smoking in here? A crosstalk actor in his forties walked in. As he spoke, he lit a cigarette for himself. Tang Dajang laughed and said, smoking is prohibited outside, so I had to sneak in here to have a smoke or two. The person said, you aren't going to watch your disciples' performance. Tang Dajang said, I've already vetted them once, so they should do just fine. Next round will be Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai's performance. I just asked the staff, and guess what they're performing? Ha ha, I'm certain you won't be able to guess it. The crawlstalk actor roared with laughter. The work that the two of them are performing is called, I will reject the three vulgarities. They must be in fear after all of the controversy. Now, the crosstalk world, the folk art world, and even the writers' association are denouncing them, so Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai can no longer take it. They want to turn over a new leaf. Tang Dajang asked, Is it true? Definitely. The name has already been submitted. He had also taken interest. Let's go. It's going to begin soon. After our smoke, we should gather some people to watch them perform. Tang Dajang said, they must have enjoyed themselves too much by going overboard, incurring the wrath of the masses. So what if the commoners like his crawlstalking style? If our industry doesn't recognize it, then it's completely useless. Saying that, he felt a great sense of anticipation, so he stubbed his cigarette butt and said, let's go and take a look. That person said, there's no way our industry will acknowledge that kind of crawlstalk which is full of the three vulgarities. Upstairs. Live broadcast control room. The person in charge of the crawlstalk and skit competition decided to hold the ground and monitor things personally this time. He was afraid that another accident or mistake similar to yesterday's would happen. Is everything fine? Definitely. 
Oh, after this live broadcast is halted, cut off Division CS signal and Air Division FS performance. This was overall control, which controlled many of the live broadcast signals across many of Central TV's channel websites. Amongst them were Central TV's Department 11's Crawstalk Competition's official website. The live broadcast signal was currently provided to Tang Dazhang's disciples, the current state of Crawstalk. Zhong Xiao and Liu Yuan were mocking Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai in it, and their program was about to come to an end. Suddenly, an overhead light flashed. The equipment experienced an outage for a moment. What happened? There was a blackout for a second? Why is there another problem? The signal has been cut. It's all right. The machines have backup power, so just reconnecting them would do. The control room began to busy themselves. Many employees were hurriedly adjusting the equipment and reconnecting the signals. They were not only in charge of Department 11's crawstalk competition, but they were also responsible for the entire Central TV's channels and signals. If something happened here, the other Central TV channels would also be affected, so they naturally had to fix things as soon as possible. 30 seconds. 1 minute. Finally, the signal was re-established. The person in charge hurriedly said, our Department 11's competition website, switch it to Broadcast Division F. The technician said, hold on. We'll do it one by one. The person in charge said unhappily, ours is a live broadcast, so do ours first. After hearing his tone, that person was a bit irritated. After smacking his lips, he still gave priority to Department 11's signal. F, F, all right, I connected it. The person in charge heaved a sigh of relief and nodded. Only then did he walk away relaxed. He went to the recording studio to monitor the filming as he could not stay here to stare at things all day. As for the other people left in the control room, they were in a hurry to adjust the other signals. On the web. Numerous gazes were gathered on the crawstalk competition. Hey, who are these two? Zhong Xiao and Liu Yuan. Tang Dazhang's disciples. They can do crawstalk all they want, but why must these two grandsons ridicule teacher Zhong and teacher Yao? Are they sick? Their master and the entire artistic world is denouncing Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai. As his disciples, they naturally have to support him. This is an all-round attack. Ha, huh, those two sure have guts. Ridicule Zhong Yi? Have they never heard of Zhong Yi symphony? That Tang Dazhang and his bunch of critics, or those from the artistic world or crawstalk association sure are f asterisk asterisk ked up. Zhong Yi has never offended them before, right? There was never any conflict with them from the beginning, yet they sure are good. It's as if Zhong Yi has killed their entire family? They insist on biting Zhong Yi for no reason without letting go? They want to send him to his death? What sort of f asterisk asterisk king people are these so called artists and artistic associations? What's wrong with Zhong Yi? Those bunch of people keep having the arts hang off their mouths. What is art? What commoners like is called art? A, I am a scholar, is well liked by all the commoners. All of us are indulging in it, and teacher Zhong Yi has entertained the masses. Then I think his work is art, but I wonder, why has the standard measurement of artistry become the exclusive right for a particular group of people? Some people keep insisting that this isn't art, that this isn't crosstalk, then that's all there is to it. The commoners or the audiences take doesn't matter. F asterisk asterisk K, then what value is there for the existence of art? You might as well say and do whatever you want. Nicely said. Those bunch of people have overstepped their boundaries. I also admit that not everyone will like Zhong Yi's works. No single form of art can accomplish that. But now, Zhong Yi's work has been highly acclaimed by nearly 90% of the people. They like it greatly but only you so-called professionals are angrily stamping your feet and roaring. This scene sure is a wonder. Yesterday, I helped speak up for Zhong Yi, and in the end, a crawstalk senior came on Weibo to scold me, saying I was just a child and do not know anything about art. He told me to study a few more years. At that moment, I felt like 10,000 strings of F asterisk asterisk K U overwhelming me. What sort of person was this? Must crawstalk be educative to be considered crawstalk? Is it that we as commoners do not even have the right to like something? 
We can't even have the right to our own aesthetic preferences. We can only like those works highlighted by so-called experts. And I can't not like it. That's right. Those bunch of people must be mad. They are really sick. It's just a few cruel stalk actors and critics, but they think of themselves as gods. They even want to summon the wind and rain so as to rule the world. Unconditional support for John Yi. Endure it, teacher Zhong. Right, we all like you. Don't listen to that bunch of people spouting nonsense. Teacher Yao, teacher Zhong, we will go through thick and thin with you. John Yi, I really didn't like you in the past. You went around scolding people and even scolded my idol. Of course, I have cursed you in all sorts of places, but for this matter, I'll support you. Fight it out with them. Currently it was the most difficult period for Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai. Being banned was a humbling experience to begin with, and with them being out of options, they had attempted to find a new path by participating in the crawlstalk competition. Now, having produced a piece of work, they had been condemned by so-called professionals. Everyone seemed insistent on their deaths. For this, the commoners could no longer watch this without doing a thing. On this matter, a majority of commoners stood on Zhong Yi's side, including those who had previously warred with Zhong Yi's fans. It also included people who did not like him in the past, but they now came to support him. In such times, the charm of art was this. An excellent piece of work could make a person like another person, completing changing his views. Of course, it might also be that those people believed that despite Zhong Yi being despicable and immoral, compared to those professionals who wanted to destroy him, Zhong Yi was considered a relatively kind person. At least, he had fought for commoners more than once. This fellow's personality was a bit bad, and did things or cursed people that rendered others speechless, but his moral standing and character were flawless. As for those so-called professionals? What did they do? What have they done for the commoners? They only knew how to reject others and use their mouths. When commoners left comments, they would be scolded by them. They were told off as lacking the morality their ancestors had, that they did not know art or were just plainly ignorant. F asterisk asterisk K. Based on what? Do we owe you? I wonder what Zhong Yi and his bro will talk about this time. We won't be able to see it. I'm waiting to see if there will be a pirated version. Forget it. During the recording, it seems cell phones are confiscated. Will there be a live broadcast? You sure hope too much. Yesterday's live broadcast was a mistake by the staff. It's impossible for it to happen again today. Ah, why did the signal cut off? Tang Dajang's disciples are done? They weren't done. It's not cut off. A, Central TV's other websites also seem to be experiencing problems. Department 1's website can't be opened. Same for Department 5. The signal has been restored. They are now airing Division FS Crawstalk. Indeed. They really want to ban Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai. At the same time, Zhong Yi's friends and relatives, as well as numerous people were staring at the live broadcast signal. Maybe they were hoping for a miracle to happen, but they were finally disappointed. Yesterday's miracle did not repeat itself. Sigh. Let's disperse. Without Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai, there's no point watching. But at this moment, a sharp eyed netizen suddenly shouted on a message board, Holy Sha asterisk T. Quick look at Department 11's official website. Not the Crawlstalk Competition's official website. Go one level up on Department 11's main official website. Why? Go see for yourself. Let me see. As people saw him screaming, they clicked over in wonder. And with that, everyone's expressions became the same as what they had yesterday. All of them stared with widened eyes. Live broadcast. It was Division CS live broadcast signal. Many people found it unbelievable. The Crawlstalk competition's live stream videos and advertisements were on a subdomain of Department 11. There was a live broadcast page on Department 11's official website, but that was for the entire station, and was linked to the television broadcast. It meant that in the semi-finals, only during the live broadcast on television would Department 11's official website air the crawlstalk competition live. 
At other times, what aired on this page was synchronized with what was aired on television. For the crosstalk competition's preliminaries, the battleground was still on the internet. It had yet to reach television. At this time, Department 11 was airing crosstalk and skits from past year's Spring Festival galas, but now, during that one minute of technical difficulties, what appeared was the live signal from Division CS crosstalk competition. Heavens! Am I seeing wrongly? Haha, <laughs> Yao Jintsai and Zhong Yi are going on stage. Awesome! To think that there's a live broadcast signal here. Did they make a mistake? Hush, everyone spread it amongst yourselves and don't publish it. Z it or lodge any complaints. He he. Let's finish watching the performance first. I was looking forward to this so much. Right, I'll tell others. A miracle has happened once again. Control room. Everyone was done busying themselves as they heaved a sigh of relief. As there were too many things to operate and there were too many things to restore, everyone was in disarray, so there were a few mistakes. They also did not discover it, as they were only hoping to restore the signal as soon as possible. That was tiring. Finally it's done. Why are there so many problems these two days? Who knows? Our shift is ending. Let's prepare to go home. Central TV did not realize this at all. Many netizens had discovered this secret early on, and spread by word of mouth, telling their friends and family. Immediately, there were more and more people watching. Ah. It's really a live broadcast. Holy sure asterisk T, I even thought old Han was bluffing me. Heavens, how small is the probability of this happening? The signal was messed up. The signal was messed up again. After yesterday, everyone already felt that Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai had gotten some dog's hit luck, and was too heaven-defying. They had managed to enjoy an event with such low probability, but after seeing this scene again today, no one could say a thing anymore. This was no longer about low probabilities. Jinx! That Zhong Yi was indeed a jinx. How can such unbelievable and amazing things happen on this fellow? And how if asterisk asterisk king unlucky is Central TV's Department 11? Why did they encounter this time and time again? Chapter 487, Disparaging Begins. At the venue. In the recording studio. No one knew what had happened. After Zhong Xiao and Liu Yuan's crosstalk ended, there wasn't much applause from the audience. This was because they did not find Tang Dazhang's disciples crosstalk funny at all. Maybe it was because their standards had been raised after watching Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai's performance yesterday. It was also possible that Zhong Xiao and Liu Yuan's performance today was indeed bad. There wasn't much laughter from beginning to end. Furthermore, when the two of them were ridiculing Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai, it was extremely jarring to the audience's ears. In their opinion, Zhong Yi's crosstalk was excellent. In some aspects, it had already reached the crest of perfection, exceeding all the crosstalk works that currently existed, but the duo was ridiculing how Zhong Yi engaged in the three vulgarities. You ridiculed how they couldn't do crosstalk. What sort of qualifications do you have? Take a look at what crap you are performing. The audience did not like it. Ba ba ba. There was still applause though. Why? This was because Tang Dazhang and a group of crosstalk actors and other judges for the preliminaries had entered in droves and sat down. They did not get to listen to it from the beginning, but managed to hear the last segment that the duo did. They found it especially good and clapped while smiling and nodding their heads. A crosstalk senior commented, this is what art looks like. Another folk art association cadre said, yes, Zhong Xiao and Liu Yuan are not bad. Old Tang took into two good disciples. It makes me green with envy. Another industry peer praised. Tang Dazhang said modestly, the two are still young and aren't up to the mark yet. The judges below the stage were no longer the same three people as there had been a change. The three were all seniors of the crosstalk world. All of them were in their forties or fifties. After listening to the performance, they gave high praises to Zhong Xiao and Liu Yuan's crosstalk performance. It was very artistic and, compared to the previous work, it is one step higher. The final drive at the topic was very forceful and well done. It also analyzed the current situation of crosstalk very clearly. 
another old judge nodded his head while stroking his beard and said, very profound. Not bad. Audience. Do you have eyes? This crappy crosstalk wasn't humorous at all. It nearly bored us to sleep, and UF asterisk asterisk king said it was not bad. It was art with profoundness. Are we even in the same world? Are we even listening to the same crosstalk performance? Zhong Xiao smiled and said, thank you to the judges for your affirmation. Liu Yuan said, we will continue working hard. The third judge hesitated and said something fair. There were a few burdens that were not stirring enough and were relatively weak. Tang Dazhang frowned and gave that judge a cold glance. It was unknown what he was thinking about. In a blink of an eye, the two of them disembarked from the stage. While they passed by Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai, Tang Dazhang's two disciples leered at them with a taunting look. The announcer said, Next up. Zhong Yi, Yao Jintsai. They will be performing I Will Reject the Three Vulgarities. May we invite the two contestants on stage? What? Reject the Three Vulgarities? The audience burst into laughter. Compared to the other crosstalk actors, the audience here clearly understood Zhong Yi better. I will reject the three vulgarities. They knew that it was possible if it came out from the mouths of others, but if it was said by this fellow, Zhong Yi? Definitely and absolutely impossible. He wanted to reject the three vulgarities? Then a femaleist can climb up trees. For some reason, the audience immediately felt an overwhelming sense of anticipation as their appetites were wet. Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai stepped on stage. The first judge leered at them. You can begin. The judge was not interested in speaking to them. On the web, their folk arts world had lost all decorum with Zhong Yi. They had boycotted and denounced him. They believed that if they kept this going, Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai would very likely be disqualified from the competition shortly after. When that happened, so what if their performances were good? So what if you had more votes? You still couldn't enter the semi finals. However, Zhong Yi did not take them seriously at all. Without even looking at them, he chuckled and began. Hello everybody. Yao Jintsai smiled. Hello everyone. Zhong Yi, this round, it's our turn. Yao Jintsai, yes. Zhong Yi stretched out his four fingers. Crawlstalk is an art, and it focuses on four subjects. Yao Jintsai smiled and said, yes. Zhong Yi said, drag, shoes, then, sing. This kind of burden situations was already considered trite in the crosstalk world, however, the contents of the burden had never been said before in this world, hence the audience burst into laughter upon hearing this. Audience, ha ha ha. Yao Jintsai stared and said, it's talk, learn, humor, sing. Zhong Yi blinked. You changed it? You're the one who changed it. Yao Jintsai said in a speechless manner, you even said drag shoes then sing? Won't you suffocate the audience with the smell? Audience, foot ha 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 ha. When the judges and the twenty crosstalk and folk art world people present heard this, their expressions turned ugly. Didn't you f asterisk asterisk king say that you want to reject the three vulgarities, but what you are saying is still the three vulgarities? There's no intention of you sincerely wanting to turn over a new leaf. This work of yours is nonsense once again? Zhong Yi sighed. I don't know much about it anyway. Yao Jintsai, if you don't know anything, then don't spout rubbish. Don't incur ridicule upon yourself. Zhong Yi looked at old Yao and said, Crawlstalk is good. One look at teacher Yao, and it's obvious that you are a professional crawlstalk actor, right? Yao Jintsai chuckled and said, I don't dare to say so, but I did learn it for a few years. Zhong Yi said with curiosity, I heard that it hasn't been very peaceful recently the crosstalk world recently. It seems there's a lot of angst and fighting in it. Is that true? An uproar from the audience. Yi. Yi. Ha ha ha. The audience laughed. All of them knew Zhong Yi was asking the obvious. It was more than angst and fighting. Those bunch of people are boycotting you. They are against your three vulgarities. Yao Jintsai coughed and said, it's indeed true. Zhong Yi, I heard that everyone wants to reject the three vulgarities. The audience hissed again. Ha ha ha. 
Yao Jinsai said, I'm not really sure about that. Zhong Yi stared and said, what? You don't even know about rejecting the three vulgarities? Hey, you are being abandoned by the era of the horse wagons. Yao Jinsai exclaimed, horse wagons? Yes, this era sure is going too slow. Zhong Yi, you don't even know about the three vulgarities? Yao Jinsai, I heard something about it. Why don't you introduce them? Zhong Yi immediately spread out his fingers. What do the three vulgarities mean? Yao Jinsai, which are the three? Zhong Yi counted one by one. Vulgar, vulgar, vulgar. Yao Jinsai exclaimed, why is it all vulgar? What about base and Philistine? Zhong Yi turned his head to look and pointed at Tang Dazhang's disciples, who had just walked off stage. Didn't two of them go off stage just now? When Zhong Xiao heard this, he nearly planted his face into the floor backstage. When Liu Yuan heard this, he nearly vomited blood. Zhong Yi! Your grandmother! You are the one who is base! You are the one who is Philistine! Tang Dazhang's face sank. The surrounding crosstalk actors were also enraged. However, in contrast to their expressions, be it the live audience or the audience watching the live stream online, they burst out into laughter after a second of pause. Pfft. I knew it. I knew it. Ha ha ha. Zhong Yi's mouth is too disparaging. Ah yeah, I'm dying of laughter. Tang Dazhang's disciples just ridiculed Zhong Yi in their performance, and now, they have been struck back by teacher Zhong. And they were only being sarcastic and did not even name names, but teacher Zhong is calling them out directly. He named names to disparage them. This will be good. I knew teacher Zhong would not be willing to let the matter go. Ha ha, that's right. With so many people questioning and boycotting Zhong Yi collectively, if teacher Zhong didn't strike back, then it clearly isn't his style. The articulate face smacking Zhong. Compared to teacher Zhong's disparaging. They are still lacking much. Chapter 488, this is what Crawstalk is about. He began disparaging the moment he went up. He began scolding the moment he appeared. And there was not a bit of foreshadowing. Zhong Yi's hooligan nature of bringing injustice upon himself was perfectly revealed with great gusto. Be it at the venue or outside, the audience members were excited. They stared with their eyes widened as if they were on stimulants. Just this opening scene was already shocking enough. They had a feeling that, with Zhong Yi's rotten temper, what he was about to say would be even more face-smacking. Those at home, watching Department 11's live broadcast on the internet, immediately informed their friends and family. More and more people gathered to watch the internet live stream and were extremely excited. Quick, take a look. Old Chang, come online, quick. Face Macking John has returned. Central TV's Department 11's official website is streaming it live. Quickly watch. Yesterday, they collectively boycotted them, but now Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai are striking back. Aha. Tang Dazhang's two disciples who led the front to disparage Zhong Yi are now covered in blood at the scene. They were scolded. I have a hunch that this I will reject the three vulgarities will definitely be a work of God. On stage. After revealing a burden, Zhong Yi looked at Yao Jinsai and said, I really like this industry of yours. Do it well and serve the people. Bring laughter to the masses. Yao Jinsai nodded. That is as it should be. Zhong Yi asked, Why do so many people like crosstalk? Why? Yao Jinsai asked. Zhong Yi said, That's because crosstalk is an art from the people. Yao Jinsai, that's true. Zhong Yi said, it praises the commoners. Yao Jintsai, yes. Zhong Yi blinked and said, so I really wish for you to engage in gang fights. The audience laughed. Yao Jintsai exclaimed, gang fights. Why would we engage in gang fights? Zhong Yi corrected him. No, no. My meaning is that if you want one person to praise, then the group of crosstalk performers will praise collectively. Yao Jintsai chuckled, praise collectively? Why is it so weird? This burden joke had once again pulled the crosstalk performers in. The audience were delighted to see this as they laughed or hissed with, foot, sounds. Zhong Yi said, anyway, I like crosstalk. 
Yao Jiantsai, if you like it, that's good. Zhong Yi smiled and said, it's laborious poems and songs. Yao Jiantsai asked curiously, why did it become poems and songs? Zhong Yi acknowledged. I usually like writing poems. Yao Jiantsai asked with interest, do you have any works? Not mature works. Zhong Yi said humbly. Yao Jiantsai, haha, you can say some of it. We can listen to it. Zhong Yi said, all right, then I'll hope everyone can correct me. Yao Jiantsai nodded. Then let's enjoy it. Clearing his throat, Zhong Yi pondered for a little while before empathetically reciting, the skies of Xuanwu district are clear. Tongju district's people like it. He mustered up his hands and said emotionally, shouting out loud while looking at Feng Tai in the distance. His pitch went a little higher this time, I love you. Heijian. Xuanwu, Tongju, Feng Tai, Heijian. These were the names of several counties in Beijing. When this poem was recited by Zhong Yi, the audience all broke out in laughter. Ha ha ha. Ai ya. Why did you shout out about Heijian when you were looking at Feng Tai? Yao Jintsai was also at a loss for words. He could only muster, what kind of poem is that? Zhong Yi said, you didn't understand the deep meaning behind it. Yao Jintsai said, no, I didn't. What deep meaning was there? Zhong Yi said in a serious tone, although this poem does not sound like it, its meaning is actually very deep. It shows the close working relationships of the Beijing people and the friendship and solidarity between the counties. The audience was already laughing out loudly. Yao Jintsai shook his head, I didn't get that type of meaning from hearing it. Zhong Yi said earnestly, to welcome the national sports meet. Yao Jintsai, I don't see that either. Zhong Yi, to accomplish the four modernizations, to contribute to the success of the China Africa Forum, this reflects the commoners' contributions to all of those. Yao Jintsai said exasperatedly, where in that poem was there such a meaning? Everyone in the audience were cramping up with laughter. There was really no relation to the national sports meet or even the China Africa Forum. The folk arts world was just talking about how your crosstalk was vulgar and superficial, yet this is what you came up with. Ha 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 ha. Everyone could hear that Zhong Yi was being sarcastic towards that bunch of people. Zhong Yi stared at Yao Jintsai and said, if I say there is, then there is. That if it is as such, then it will be that. Yao Jintsai couldn't be bothered by him, sure, sure, sure. Then I will just let it be so. Zhong Yi said, remember, as an actor, you need to serve the people. Yao Jintsai said, of course I know that. Zhong Yi, you have to be elegant. Yao Jintsai, elegant? Zhong Yi spoke in a lofty manner, we definitely cannot engage in the three vulgarities. We need to have good taste. We need to go one level up with a stool. Saying that, he tiptoed. Yao Jintsai hurriedly tugged at him. You might fall, come down quickly. That's a completely different level. The audience burst into laughter. Zhong Yi shook his head in a serious manner. We can't fall for that again. We can only fall for it once, so we have to raise our level on a stool. Yao Jintsai was once again almost at a loss for words, raise our level on a stool. If it has to be a stool, then let it be a stool. Zhong Yi looked at him, you're getting chatty, aren't why eh? Yao Jintsai said, you're the one who is being chatty. A few of the audience members were laughing from beginning till the end until their mouths had gone numb. Zhong Yi patted Yao Jintsai on his shoulder and told him in earnest, remember, what is the use of crosstalk? Yao Jintsai asked, please tell me. Zhong Yi said, crosstalk. Is meant to educate people. When the audience heard this, they immediately went yi. 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 There was booing throughout the audience. Zhong Yi pointed out to the audience in confusion, eh? They are calling out for you? Yao Jintsai said merrily, that's to stop you from talking any further. Zhong Yi said in profoundness, that's what I feel though. Crosstalk was meant to educate people. You're not an actor. Yao Jintsai, then what am I? Zhong Yi said, you're a teacher. Yao Jintsai, oh? Zhong Yi continued on, you're an professor. Yao Jintsai nearly fainted, and professor? You don't use an with professor. 
the audience were still laughing. He's scolding again. He started his scolding again. Zhong Yi was patting on him on the shoulders as he said, your job is to educate people, so you need to pay detailed attention to make sure that your work is of good taste. You also need to note what the people can learn from your work today. That's what your job is all about. You do not need to consider whether or not it will bring joy to others. Yao Jiantsai, ah? Zhong Yi grunted, they deserve it. Whether or not it will bring joy. At this point, the audience was slapping their thighs in laughter. Yao Jiantsai, ah? Zhong Yi, your job is just to educate others, so why do you care if they enjoy it or not? What's so bad about losing hundreds of millions of viewers? Your position will still be very stable. Yao Jiantsai, I don't even know where I'm standing now, so don't talk to me about stability. Zhong Yi instructed, you must be elegant no matter what. Do you know what elegance is? Yao Jiantsai said, tell me? Zhong Yi said, an elegant person is one who goes against the people. Whether or not they listen. If they don't listen, so be it. They will get their just deserts. And die off. A few people in the audience could no longer take it. They were already tearing up from the laughter. They knew Zhong Yi's mouth was wicked, but they had not expected his sarcasm to be done in such a different way. He was just doing a blanket bombing of sarcasm on those people. Those who had criticized Zhong Yi for his crosstalk, saying that he had no depth or artistic points, were all being scolded at now. Zhong Yi wasn't done yet as he said to old Yao, remember, you're a teacher. As long as your works can cause a person to cry in agony, you'd have made it. The crosstalk judge's faces also turned dark. Yao Jiantsai, ah? Zhong Yi then said, an outstanding crosstalk actor must surely reject the three vulgarities. Yao Jiantsai made a sound, is that so? Zhong Yi said, they must definitely reject the three vulgarities. That must be etched into the minds. Yao Jiantsai said modestly, good, good, good. Zhong Yi said, surely, shitty, people make progress with modesty. If shitty people can improve, then sure, you, as someone made of flesh and meat, can too. With the audience laughing, Yao Jiantsai touched his forehead and said, you're being too dirty again. You must be the embodiment of the three vulgarities. When Zhong Yi heard that, his eyes stared so harshly at him, do you think that I won't kill you? Yao Jiantsai, he. Zhong Yi puffed up his cheeks and rolled up his sleeves, you've never been beaten up by a hooligan before, have you? A flower pot smashed upon your head resulting in a bloody splatter, even leaving your eyeballs in need of stitches. The three vulgarities are my means of insulting others. You can't say that about me, get it? Yao Jiantsai laughed, I can't say that about you? Zhong Yi dismissively said, you dare say that I am an embodiment of the three vulgarities? Just someone like you would be shot immediately if you took a step forward. If you take a step backwards, you might be released on compassionate grounds. Yao Jiantsai said, all right then, is there even anything good about me then? Zhong Yi said, for just being caught like this is enough to execute you with gunfire for five minutes straight. Pfft. Shot immediately? Released on compassionate grounds? Execution by gunfire for five minutes straight? Ayo, how did you even come up with such a segment? The audience was once again tickled by the hidden meanings contained within the segments. They couldn't stop laughing as they had never heard such a novel joke segment before. There was even wisdom and sarcasm contained in every part. Zhong Yi sounded like he was talking about Yao Jintsai, but it was obvious that this scolding was meant for other people. Zhong Yi pulled himself together before saying as he gestured, from the moon looking down upon the earth, you'd first see the Great Wall, then followed by the bunch of us who are rejecting the three vulgarities. Yao Jintsai said in surprise, heh, did these bunch of people really make such a big deal out of this? Zhong Yi straightened his collar, that's for sure, then he looked down at the bunch of crosstalk actors, there are many present here today with us who are rejecting the three vulgarities just like we are. He waved at them. The audience roared with laughter. Yi. Yi. Ha ha ha. Below the stage, a crosstalk actor seated with Tang Dajang could no longer sit around. He stood up with a darkened expression and turned around to leave. He wasn't going to listen to this anymore. Zhong Yi saw him and said, why is one of our people leaving? 
Yao Jinsai laughed, he might be getting excited by all this talk and needs to go to the restroom. Oh, I see. Zhang Yi waved at him and said, I wish you success. When the crawstalk actor who had almost reached the door heard this, his legs fumbled and he nearly fell flat on his face. Zhang Yi, you be asterisk asterisk starred. You're being too sarcastic. Why would you wish someone success if they were going to the toilet? Am I a simpleton? At this moment, the audience burst out into laughter once more. The loudest one since the performance had begun. Ha 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 ha. Absolutely. That was a really good one. It's still the most fun to listen to Zhong Yi scold others. Yeah, those bunch of people were doing veiled satire, boycotted, denounced, and even anonymously criticized, but look at teacher Zhong, he's directly scolding them. And it was even in front of a national audience. Just this spirit alone is enough to one-up those despicable people who had sour grapes. One even ran away. Ayo, this is really tickling me so much. This scolding really relieved the anger. It even felt good. Everyone felt comfortable and felt great. This was what Crawstalk was f asterisk asterisk king about. Chapter 489, Judges Chased Off by Scoldings. The audience was spoiled by the humor. The Crawstalk actors, who were standing with Tang Dajang, were getting angrier and angrier. The guy surnamed Zhong truly lacked eight generations of virtue. The person who had tried to leave was not only a crawstalk actor, he was also an administrator in the Folk Art Association. He even dared to criticize a teacher like that? He must really be mad. Actually, they wanted to follow him when he had left, as they did not want to listen to any more of this, but because of John Yees, I wish you success, a few of those crawstalk actors and members of the Folk Arts Association, who was about to stand up and leave, sat back down almost immediately. Why? They were afraid that Zhong Yi would put his focus onto them. They looked at each other and could see the hostility in each other's eyes. But Zhong Yi's crawstalk performance was still not done. He stood on stage without any pressure since what he talked about was still within the limits of an online broadcast. He did not seem to care. Even if it did cross the line, he was not bothered by it. Zhong Yi was not the type to hold back due to considerations. He was the sort who lived for the moment. He said to old Yao, if you don't reject the three vulgarities and join our team, then you are definitely not a good actor. And so, we will not acknowledge that you can do crawstalk. Woo! Yi! The audience understood the meaning of what was being said. Yao Jiansai laughed, oh, really? Zhong Yi looked at him with the intention to teach and guide him, in the dead of the night, you have a cigarette in your left hand, a bottle of beer in your right hand, and a piece of chicken hanging from your mouth. After taking two puffs from the cigarette, gulping down a mouthful of beer, and ravishly eating some food, ask yourself if you have rejected the three vulgarities. The audience was stunned and then broke out in laughter. Yao Jiansai made a couple of gestures with his hands and said, Heh? I don't know about rejecting the three vulgarities, but those three activities are enough to keep me busy. Look at me smoking while I enjoy my food. The audience roared with laughter once again. Zhong Yi sighed and said, sometimes, while walking on the streets, I often think. Why do the people of this world refuse to realize the errors of their ways? Why do they not understand? Why can't all of them be teachers or educators? Reaching his hand out, he grabbed a white cloth on the stage and blew his nose and threw the cloth on the ground and exhaled before sighing, only then would the world be so perfect. Yao Jinsai rolled his eyes, is that how an educator behaves? Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Zhong Yi said, Teacher Yao, I do not understand why there is a higher grade, even though all of us are just crawstalk performers. Yao Jinsai said, That's because the others say it better. Zhong Yi said, Look at those mainstream crawstalk actors, look at how well their crawstalks are. He lay emphasis on the word mainstream. The expressions of the crawstalk actors offstage changed. Yao Jinsai asked, Which one? Zhong Yi said, there's an outstanding crawstalk actor, I wonder if you know him. Yao Jinsai asked curiously, who is it? Give us his name. The audience blinked in anticipation. Zhong Yi said, Tang Daid, do you all know him? Yao Jinsai looked stunned, Tang Daid? 
Zhong Yi said, yes, that one who does crawlstalks really well. Yao Jinsai touched his nose, that name sounds really familiar to me somehow. At this moment, many of the audience reacted, first with a stunned expression, followed by laughing and clapping. Pfut. Tang Daid? Tang Da Zhang? Tang Da Zhang's expression sunk. The expressions of the crawlstalk actors around him also had a drastic change. Zhong Yi said, You don't know him? He's the one who is always wearing those long robes, with his hair combed back, big eyes, and large stature? Around 1.8 meters tall. That one. Yao Jinstai said, He's that tall? Zhong Yi said, Yeah, after cremation, he'd fill up at least a box and a half. Cremation? I'll cremate your sister. Tang Da Zhang nearly vomited blood when he heard that. The audience members were all clapping in joy and laughing themselves into stitches. That mouth of teacher Zhong was really so sarcastic all the way to your grandmother's house. Yao Jinsai said, hi, who even asked about the cremated remains. Zhong Yi held out his hand with his thumb up, saying, that guy's crawlstalk prowess is really the best out there. Yao Jinsai asked, really? Zhong Yi said, did you hear about his new crawlstalk performance yet? The crawlstalk's title is called A New Countryside. Dot. Yao Jinsai asked puzzledly, was there such a crawlstalk? Zhong Yi said, it was good, it was really good. It was really passionate, fervent, and a pea jerker. A woman, who had just taken a sip of water was not prepared for this and spat out the water all over the floor. Yao Jinsai nearly fainted, pee? How did you even end up talking about peeing? Zhong Yi said, do you know how many people were cured of their prostate problems when they heard that crawlstalk? A few male audiences were pounding their thighs as they laughed extremely hard at this. Then, Yao Jinsai said, heh, it was so miraculous. What did that work talk about? Zhong Yi said, I especially liked A New Countryside since it was so good. If it were up for auction, I guess it would go for around a few hundred thousand. Yao Jinsai looked even more curious, yo, is it really that good, then you should tell us more about it. Zhong Yi looked at everyone and said, the great crawlstalk work, A New Countryside says, good day to all comrades and good day to our friends from all the different jobs and industries. Please support our A New Countryside. We need to follow the words of our leaders, to sleep early and wake early, to not spit on the ground, so that we may build our countryside well. With that, Zhong Yi looked intoxicated and full of admiration. But Yao Jinsai was confused, is that it? Then, he saw Zhong Yi smacking his thigh as he squatted down and said with his tone changed, it's really too good. I'm laughing so much I can't control myself anymore. The audience was also laughing out loud. Yao Jinsai said, what about it makes you laugh uncontrollably? Zhong Yi was still squatting down and smacking his thigh. Hey, hey! Yao Jinsai went to pull him up, get up, get up, what the heck is going on? Have you ever heard of such serious crawlstalk? Why about it has made you laugh so uncontrollably? Seeing the state that Zhong Yi was in, the audience's laughter did not stop either. Tang Da Zhang rage was rising in his eyes and he turned to leave as well. When the audience saw that another person had been chased away by the scolding, they laughed even harder. Zhong Yi finally stood up after a long time, what a great crawlstalk. Yao Jinsai rolled his eyes, how is that even crawlstalk? Zhong Yi gave a thumbs up, a truly good crawlstalk would move one deeply. This is what you must learn from. You need to learn from him and change your attitude. Don't be like some crawlstalker who does not love himself on or off stage and finally even, Jiao Lang Die with Macron Nguyu, half-heartedly went into prison. Ah? Yao Jinsai quickly corrected him, that's called, Lang Die with Macron Nguyu, chained up and put into prison. Jonga said, that crawlstalk actor's stage name is called Jiao. Only then did Yao Jinsai made a chuckle and said, what sort of name is that? How can he be named as such? Zhong Yi said, people like us who reject the three vulgarities all have stage names like these. Yao Jinsai asked, why? Why don't they use their real names instead? Zhong Yi glanced at him, nonsense, if you use your real names, you might get beaten up. The audience cramped up with laughter again. Yao Jinsai said, so, people like you are afraid of being beaten up? Zhong Yi said, I'm not afraid, but those of us who have been studying methods to reject the three vulgarities are. 
Yo, you even have a team? Yao Jintsai asked. Zhong Yi said, yeah, I do. Our team is full of talents who are either crosstalk actors, folk arts world actors, reviewers, or critics. Reviewers? Critics? The audience's first thought was on Alexander and the few others who were denouncing Zhong Yi online last night. Their attention was jolted and they listened carefully. Yao Jintsai blinked and said, can you introduce to us then? What their stage names are? Zhong Yi unreservedly said, for example, one of our famous cultural reviewers is called Who's the Dumbest? Yao Jintsai chuckled, that person is so modest, the Zhong Yi continued introducing the others, and then there's our famous critic called. I'm the dumbest, dot. Yao Jintsai said again, that one is even more modest. Zhong Yi said, then there's one of our folk arts expert. What's he called? Yao Jintsai asked curiously. Zhong Yi said, he's called don't dot. The audience and the judges did not understand what he meant. Don't? What's the punchline here? Yao Jintsai also asked, what kind of name is that? Is he a foreigner? Zhong Yi waved his hands in denial, no, he's Chinese, a minority ethnicity. That is his name, but his surname is, but Tin dot. Yao Jintsai asked suspiciously, but Tin? Zhong Yi affirmatively nodded, don't but Tin. When this joke was revealed, everyone erupted into laughter. Hey yo. Ha 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 ha. Don't but in. This is really scolding. It's so good. Ha ha, I can't take this anymore. Those people were butting in for no reason. Zhong Yi cracked his fingers and said, just the few of us, who's the dumbest? I'm the dumbest and don't but Tin were discussing every day about their research on how to reject the three vulgarities. Our goal is to make it so that when we look back at Earth from the moon, we wouldn't even be able to spot the Great Wall. The first thing that must be seen is us, this bunch of rejectors of the three vulgarities. Yao Jintsai raised his head and chuckled again, do you all think that there's already a lack of commotion? The few technical staff members who had been holding back their laughter all this time could no longer hold back. The camera assistant and producers were all laughing out straight into their hands that they used to cover their faces with. Then, a few more folk arts world members, including those crosstalk actors all stood up and walked out of the studio in rage. There were more than a dozen of them streaming out of the studio. What was even more shocking was that among the three crosstalk competition judges, two of them had also left in anger. They did not want to see this anymore, so they left the last judge there speechless at the performance. What? Even the judges got chased away? Pfft. Why did the judges leave? This has never happened before in the history of the crosstalk competition. Ayo, this is turning out to be such a joke. Teacher Jong is such a wonder. He can even chase the judges away with his scolding. Ha 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 ha. Can he not be that funny? Before this, the folk arts world members had depended on their statuses and majority in numbers to continuously lash out at Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai. They made use of the masses voice to apply pressure on them. But now, at this moment, Zhong Yi had given them a taste of their own medicine. He had used the same tactic back on them. Including those online denouncers which included celebrities, critics and reviewers, Zhong Yi had carpet scolded them all in this crosstalk. He had scolded with a penetrating coldness. They were an army with a few hundred to a few thousand mouths. But Zhong Yi only had one mouth, yet he was able to hit and push them back. The masses' voice had now become a singular voice. When Zhong Yi opened his mouth, he could push back their thousands of mouths, he could even melt gold with just his mouth alone. Just what sort of power was this? What sort of savageness was this? Chapter 490, The Kings Without a Crown The performance was over. They had finished their crosstalk performance. At the scene, a tidal wave like applause rang out. Many members of the audience were still clapping as they laughed. Even though the crosstalk performance was over, they were still roaring with laughter, immersed in the godlike joke segments of Zhong Yi. With internet technology being so advanced and the overload of information, there wasn't much that the commoners had not seen before. Clips of people being scolded or scolding people were all too common, but to be able to scold at such a level, to use sarcasm in such a playful way, and even bringing humorous punchlines across, this was something that they had witnessed for the first time in their lives. 
all of this was embedded deeply into their minds. All right. Ha ha ha. Teacher Zhong, you're really great. Teacher Yao is great too, he's supporting really well. Ayo, I've shed more than a pound of water from just my tears alone today. The live studio audience were very flattering with their thunderous applause. It was even more passionate and louder than yesterday's, I am a scholar. The preliminary round was a stage for Zhong Yi to show his style of cross-talking. In today's second round of performances, Zhong Yi had finally let loose by continuing the never-before-seen style of cross-talk by not only developing it, but actually bringing it to its peak of development. He injected sarcasm, no, perhaps it was better to say that every of his sentences were made to be sarcastic from the beginning till the end. When the audience saw this performance, they were all excited by it and were making a scene in the recording studio with their whistling. Zhong Yi smiled, thank you everyone. Yao Jinsai also said, thank you. Zhong Yi had a good time scolding, while old Yao was also very satisfied with what he said. The two of them were in high spirits. Working together this time was really a sublimation of their artistic talents. In the past, a person from Zhong Yi's previous world had said, the main and side character both try to seek out a good partner, but that is even more difficult than choosing the correct daughter-in-law. Zhong Yi fully agreed with this. Just like today's jokes segments, only old Yao could latch onto them as well as he did. If he were to have any other partner, even if Zhong Yi were to break down the script and reproduce it word for word, it would still be unlikely that they could hold the exchange so well. This not only required good basics and professionalism, but it also required mutual understanding, especially knowing each other's characters well. Besides, what kind of cross-talk would ever stick completely to script? It would not be possible for the main and side characters to follow the script to a cue, and while making subtle changes that required spontaneous wit. A little slip of the mouth would bring about changes in the script, making it hard to follow exactly the way it was planned. This was why Zhong Yi felt that he was very lucky that old Yao was the one beside him. It allowed him to talk freely and with ease, making it possible to do justice to the original work of I Will Reject the Three Vulgarities by Gu Di Gang. The applause stopped. Zhong Yi and Yao Jiansai both looked towards the judges' panel. There was only one judge left sitting there, the one who evaluated Tang Dazhang's disciples' crosstalk performance to be lacking. It felt as though he wasn't that hostile towards Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai. But he was also rather speechless now. Witnessing such an amazing performance by the two of them, he no longer knew how to evaluate their work, um, you guys. The audience were anticipating his comments. Finally, with a slight hesitation, he said, let's move on to the next group. He chose not to say too much even if he was amazed by Zhong Yi's talent. After all, he was still a part of the crosstalk world. With the crosstalk and folk art world both labeling Zhong Yi as a heretic, it would be wiser not to say anything at all. Zhong Yi smiled and prepared to go off the stage with old Yao. As they turned around to walk off, the audience stood up and gave another round of thunderous applause. It felt like they were cheering them on with their clapping. Go, teacher Zhong. Teacher Yao, you go too. We will support the two of you. Yeah, if the crosstalk world does not recognize you both? There's still us around. Who dares to say that the two of you were vulgar? Your crosstalk performance was truly an art form. Without some sarcasm or, or an affable speaking tone, how could you call it art? Ha ha. Let those mainstream crosstalk actors go become educators. We will listen to crosstalks by the both of you in the future. If this is what being vulgar is, I'll choose to be vulgar. None of the judges affirmed their performance, with two of them leaving the studio in a rage, but at this moment, on almost all of the audience's minds, Yao Jintsai and Zhong Yi were the kings without crowns. At the same moment, those who were watching online exploded with excitement as well. Oh my god! Is Zhong Yi on steroids today? Ha 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 ha! Every time that Zhong Yi stands on a stage, his king's aura will always show. Competing on sarcasm or face smacking, who could match up to him? He's the ultimate best. The incident that made me laugh the most was when the judges were chased away by his scolding. Ayo, I just kept laughing till my sides were in pain whenever I think of this. Ha 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 ha. The famous Alexander and the few other reviewers have all been scolded badly. 
the one who got the worst was Tang Da Zhang and those people from the folk arts world. Don't butt tin. Ayo, how did teacher Zhong think of that? It's so sarcastic. It's too wicked. Didn't he smack the entire folk arts world and crawstalk world with that? But they were really butting in. Zhong Yi did not offend or step on anyone's tail and even kept rather quiet after being banned by the SARFT, but those people still chose to stir up issues with him. Then, when Zhong Yi came to do crawlstalk, he did not do anything to the folk arts world or the crawlstalk world, but they still chose find fault with him, calling on the whole country to suppress him along with them. They even wanted to pressure Central TV into disqualifying Zhong Yi's participation rights? What dog shit was that? Why did they but in four? Zhong Yi's really outstanding. Teacher Zhong been really outstanding in the entertainment industry without match. A, the live broadcast has been cut off. He he, Central TV Department 11 has finally realized their mistake. At the same time. A control room in Central TV. Seven or eight leaders and staff of Department 11 had rushed over and some were even leaders of Central TV. Of course, there were also those who were involved as the organizers of the crawstalk competition. Are you all looking to be fired? Ah. Leader, we. We really did not know. A total of 10 minutes had been broadcasted and none of you realized it. There was a power failure in between and an interruption of the signal happened. After getting it back up, we might have made some mistake while readjusting the equipment. It was like this yesterday. And it's still the same today? It's a little too coincidental and we. In there, only the Central TV's leader's voice could be heard giving the staff a great scolding. Even Department 11 could not escape this great scolding. The first time, it was a mistake. But this was already the second time. And there was still a mistake. Two continuous days of mistakes. And it even happened again with the same two band celebrities. What's the meaning of all these? What the heck was going on? The SARFT had just transferred one of the their deputy chiefs out, and an incoming leader from the publicity department of the Communist Party of China was appointed. This would be the big boss that would be overseeing the entertainment industry as his role and responsibility. Even as a deputy chief, he would outrank their Central TV's party member leader by a head. With all these movements, the Central TV team still dared to go against the flow? They even dared to broadcast banned artists' programs? And it was even a live broadcast? Wasn't that going against the authorities? That SARFT deputy chief was about to step into his new role. A newly appointed official works hard to show his efficiency, so weren't they clearly lining themselves up before a firing squad? Within the station, the management was so angered by this that they gave these people a great scolding. Finally, the leader put down his stand saying that, this mishap must never happen again. He turned and went back to his office to make some calls to the authorities to explain that all of these were down to control mistakes, and were not intentional. In any case, this issue was a big mess. Just one person, a minor artist like Zhong Yi, had managed to cause such a ruckus within these affected departments. The waters were getting murkier by the second. Over at the control room. Those who stayed behind all had the urge to curse and swear. That hooligan. What the heck is he trying to stir up? What a god of plague. I've never seen someone so jinxed. If we knew earlier, no matter how big of a controversy it would cause, we would definitely not have accepted Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai's applications. Outside. After Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai came out from the recording studio, it was still unbeknownst to them what had happened. They were still discussing the details and mistakes of their earlier performance and summing up their experiences to each other, so that they could learn from it for the later stages of the competition. As they were talking, Yao Jintsai turned on his cell phone. Since their part was complete for today, he was turning it on when a call from his home arrived. From this call, he found out about what had just happened. Yao Jintsai said in a damning tone, old bro. Zhong Yi, who was also turning on his cell phone as well turned around, ah. It was broadcasted live again. Central TV has made a mistake again. This time it was not broadcasted live on the competition homepage but on Department 11's office homepage. There were even more audiences because of that. The platform was even bigger. Yao Jintsai was at a loss at whether to laugh, 
Or cry as even he wondered if Central TV's Department 11 had stepped on dog shit this year? How did they end up being so unlucky? How could they have continuously, on two occasions, made a mistake in live broadcasting their performances? Even if one were to think with their ass, they would know the implications from this would not be small. This was just too face smacking. While they had been banned by the authorities, it felt like they did not suffer any loss from it and instead could still gloriously walk on stage and show their lively faces to the netizens of the whole country. It was as if no ban had been placed at all. Not only that, it did not even seem like it affected them, as their popularity kept increasing. This was no longer just face smacking, this was basically face bashing. Bashing once wasn't enough as they continued to bash them a second time. But John Yi was not surprised by this. He just acknowledged it and acted surprised since he had expected something similar to happen. These six days' worth of lower difficulty was no joke and it would probably make Zhong Yi invincible. He felt unstoppable. DIDI, his cell phone sounded. A message was received. He took a look and saw that he had won a prize again. Looks like his phone bill for the month was going to be free of charge this time. Chapter 491, Whatever Goes. Central TV. Along the corridor. What shall we eat tonight? Zhong Yi asked rather happily. Yao Jinsai laughed, you still care about eating? Why do I feel that we are going to be in some sort of trouble? Two days of being broadcasted live. The two of us are going to end up poking a hole in the sky. Zhong Yi said, what has that got to do with us? Yao Jinsai said, even if it was Central TV's mistake, the ones who gained the most from this was us. We were the ones who were shown on broadcast, so how could the authorities ignore that? Not only Central TV Department 11 would be in trouble, I think even the two of us would be implicated. But John Yi, being a carefree soul, said, so what? We've already been banned anyway, what more could happen to us? Will they tie us up? Will they stuff our mouths and make us shut up? Yao Jinsai smiled at this, that's rather true too. We will still say whatever we have to say and not care about anyone. John Yi said. At this time, a person walked up to them. He looked familiar, probably a member of the competition program team. The youth took a look at them before saying, Teacher Yao, Teacher Zhong. I'm from the program team. Can I have a minute of your time? Let's chat somewhere else. They proceeded to an office. Zhong Yi said, What's the matter? The youth did not beat around the bush, there were some instructions from the station just now. We also had some discussions among the program team. It is our wish that your crosstalk be cleaner and less vulgar. Zhong Yi laughed, is the station criticizing me now? The youth said, we wouldn't dare. Yao Jinsai shot a glance at him before saying, this is a crosstalk competition and what we performed was within the acceptable limits. How did it become unclean to you all? Where are the unclean parts? The youth said, there are profanities and innuendos. Which were the profanities? Zhong Yi asked. The youth said, don't butt in. Zhong Yi laughed sarcastically, what I said was don't butt in. How is that a profanity? Point it out for me. I would like to know too. The youth frowned, we both know what you meant. Zhong Yi waved his hand, don't say that, I really don't know. The youth clenched his teeth, what about badmouthing teacher Tang Dajang? Teacher Tang came to us after the recording with a lot of the other crosstalk artists. They're complaining? Yao Jinsai rolled his eyes. Zhong Yi lighted a cigarette, yo, heh, I've heard of people picking up money, but never heard of them picking up a scolding. I was talking about Tang Dade, yet someone wants the scolding to be about him. If he chose to be scolded, why do I have to be blamed? If by your saying, then Tang Dajang's disciples who scolded me by using my name should be spoken to as well? Or maybe you mean to say that they can scold me or whatever, but me and old Yao here can't even say a thing. We even have to be warned? What sort of crosstalk competition is this? Was it specially organized for Tang Dajang? Then you should have told everyone earlier. You should have written a notice telling everyone that only Tang Dajang's disciples are allowed to take part in this competition. If that were the case, we would not have registered at all. The youth was piqued, how can you say that? Regarding your crosstalk, everyone else discussed about it and the organizers also studied what you said. 
nothing of it represents what crawlstalk should be. John Yi asked, then tell me what is the art of crawlstalk about? The youth said, at the very least, it cannot be so vulgar. This sort of crawlstalk performance is not suitable for the stage and would negatively affect the audience. Crawlstalk is a form of culture, a classy and elegant culture. John Yi laughed. He patted the youth's shoulder and said, all right, don't talk nonsense with me anymore. I have no time for that. I know how to do crawlstalk better than you, so why would I listen to your explanations? You, the youth had not expected this sort of behavior from John Yi. Yao Jinsai also couldn't be bothered, let's go, old bro. John Yi stood up, let's go. Shall we have dinner at my parents' place tonight? Sure. Yao Jinsai agreed happily, I've never been to your place before, so it's about time I visited. The two of them joked as they stepped out of the office. They did not bother about the program team's youth staff at this point in time anymore. The youth looked at their backs and was angered. He had no choice, as he was also timid in the presence of John Yi. He was someone who had scolded the SARFT, beaten up a leader, fought off hijackers, and even landed a hijack plane. That was the sort of person he was, so it would be best not to offend him. In any case, he had already passed on the message that the station wanted him to pass on. However they planned to do their next performance would be up to them since they couldn't blame it on him for not warning them beforehand. Well then, it was time to go back to report this to the leader. The youth tried to pull the door to leave the office, but with a twist of the door knob, it broke off from the door, ah. He immediately knocked on the door saying, open the door. Please help me to open the door. If you can't get it opened, help get someone here to help. Outside. The duo heard the knocking and plea. Yao Jinsai laughed and said, what do you think? He's trapped inside? Zhong Yi was also cheered by this. Peng Peng Peng, if anyone is outside, please help me open the door. Zhong Yi nearly wanted to do so, but thinking about how coincidental this was, he remembered that it was probably the difficulty adjustment die doing its work. Since Zhong Yi did not feel much for these bunch of people, maybe it was the die giving it to them? Sure enough, it seemed that within these six days, no matter who came at him would be killed off immediately. He smiled and said, let's go. Yao Jinsai said, go? Don't bother about him, let him knock all he wants. Zhong Yi said. The youth heard them from behind the door. He nearly vomited blood. He still had some urgent matters to attend to later. He had to go supervise a program. He immediately took out his cell phone and tried to make a call to a colleague to ask for help, but as he took out the phone, he dropped it and the cell phone was smashed to pieces when it hit the ground. The youth was dumbfounded for a moment. What the f asterisk asterisk k? Did his luck have to be this bad? What was going on in the station these past two days? Was there a ghost? The two of them who were outside nearly went crazy from laughter. Yao Jinsai said, I've heard of your temper before, but I've never witnessed it firsthand. This time, however, I've finally seen this side to you. Now I understand why you offend so many people with the things that you do. People with a bad temper, heh, this old bro has seen it a few times before, but never have I seen someone as quick-tempered as you. Zhong Yi said, I've already suppressed myself. That bunch of people deserved a scolding. That Tang guy incited a group of people to step on me and go against me. As a judge of the competition, he's abusing his powers to backstab me. Now he's even trying to make us lose our qualifications to take part in it. His disciples criticized us on their program, but I have never seen a program team deal with such bullshit like that. Central TV has not even issued a statement. Tang Dajang is also a part of the program team. Isn't that the same as the magistrates being free to burn down houses, while the common people are forbidden to light their lamps? Only they can step on others, but others may not step on them? F asterisk asterisk K their grandpas. Yao Jinsai said, you rascal. You never allow yourself to be on the losing end. He he, but your old bro likes it this way. Since the fuss has already been kicked up, let's just go all the way. As they were prepared to walk on, another person was headed towards them again. It was an old man. Seeing that person, Yao Jinsai immediately recognized him. It was a veteran artist of the crawlstalk performance world. Chapter 492, Voices of Everyone. They looked at each other. 
bumping into and also knowing one another, it would be awkward to not say anything at all. Yao Jintsai greeted, Master Xu. Xu Wenxiong looked at him, oh, little Yao. You still remember me? Yao Jintsai asked, how's your health been lately? Xu Wenxiong nodded, it's just as it is. I can't compare to young people like you. Yao Jintsai laughed, I've already passed 40, how can I still be considered young? Xu Wenxiong spoke with hidden meanings, from your crawlstalk performance. I wouldn't have guessed your age. The work was like that of a child's, speaking however you wanted. That doesn't reflect well on your teacher, don't you think? Yao Jiansai did not answer that as this old man was fellow disciples with his late teacher. They had both learned under an old master in crawlstalks before, so it wasn't appropriate for him to say too much. He could only change the topic as he turned to Zhong Yi to introduce him, old bro, let me him introduce to you. This is Master Xu Wenxiong, the Mount Tai and the Big Dipper of the crawlstalk world. Zhong Yi replied without pressure, how are you doing, master? This is. Yao Jintsai was about to introduce Zhong Yi. But Xu Wenxiong gave a wave of his hands and spoke directly, you don't need to introduce us, I know him. The two of you have really caused a ruckus this time. It's time to take a step back. Zhong Yi smiled and said, We, a ruckus? You must be kidding. You people are causing a ruckus even more than us. Xu Wenxiong looked at him, Crawlstalk isn't as you said it is. What you're doing will not glorify Crawlstalk, but destroy it. Crawlstalk is a heritage that must be carried forward one generation after another. If Crawlstalk is as you said it is, then what difference does it have from a punk on the streets? For Crawlstalk to get to where it is today hasn't been easy. After passing it down for so many generations, it has to be conserved and have some meaning to it. Yao Jintsai said, Little Zhong and I are both doing this very seriously. We feel that Crawlstalk has many ways to it and doesn't only have to have an educational aspect to it. Do you know better or do I? Xu Wenxiong interrupted. Yao Jintsai was beginning to dislike what he heard. He. Xu Wenxiong glanced at them as an artist and said, Stop speaking with less tawdriness and add more content that would let others reflect on after listening. You should put more positive energy into in it rather than scolding this or that. What's the use of that? Even if you scold, you won't be able to scold the folk arts world. Every job has its rules, so since you're in the folk art circle now, you'd have to follow the rules here. You can't just go about doing anything you wanted. Zhong Yi started to speak up, I can't pretend I never heard what you just said. Little Zhong. Yao Jintsai made a pass at him to signal to him to stop. But Zhong Yi did not listen and instead spoke to Xu Wenxiong as an equal, we're just two small-time actors who like to do crosstalk, talking about topics that we like and doing the things we feel are right. That has nothing to do with the folk arts world at all, so whether the people up there recognize us as crosstalk actors or not, it does not matter to us. We do not need their recognition. I know very well whether or not I know how to do crosstalk, and so does the audience. We do not need others to waste their energy to validate us. Master Xu, I respect you as an elder, as a veteran of crosstalking, and your contributions to the crosstalk world, but the issue here is that all of you should not have stepped on me first. Why is it that anyone that sees me must step on me once or twice? They just gather everyone together to scold me for no reason? I won't take that lying down. If they want to step on me, then I will step back on them. If they scold me, then I will scold them back as well. I don't give a damn about anything. This is my temper. Okay, you're great. Xu Wenxiong was clearly irritated by this, who is your teacher? Was this an interrogation? He was going to use seniority to pressure me? Zhong Yi smiled, I don't have a teacher. I'm a self-taught master myself. Master Xu, don't try to scare me. My guts are really small. Xu Wenxiong saw that he was not giving him any face at all and was even getting disrespectful, so his anger also rose. He took a breather and nodded, okay, since you've said that, the two of you may do whatever you want. Don't look down on the crawlstalk world. If they want to fix the two of you, they'd find a way for sure. Zhong Yi said, Yo, then I would like to find out for myself what they can do. Xu Wenxiong made a gesture with his hand and turned to leave, there will be a conference for the Crawlstalk world members tonight in which they would discuss this matter. 
As he said that, he disappeared into the walkway. Then, a loud P.U. Tong was heard followed by Xu Wenxiong furiously scolding, who threw that banana peel. Yao Jiantsai. Zhong Yi knew that it was the difficulty adjustment die helping him out once again. There's going to be a conference for the Crawlstalk world members again? Yao Jiantsai said, and it's to discuss about how to handle us. Zhong Yi said, surely they did not have to go that far for us. Are the two of us really so influential? Yao Jiantsai replied, that may be somewhat true. The two of us have really caused a big ruckus today and offended a majority of them. On their way out, they heard many people exchanging whispers. They overheard some of them and through it, they found out that the Crawlstalk conference was organized some time ago and would be attended, not only by the heavyweights of the Crawlstalk world, but also some of the rookies who were participating in the Crawlstalk competition were invited, except for Zhong Yi and Yao Jiantsai. Clearly, even if the conference was not about denouncing them, they would still allocate a fair amount of time to discuss about how to kill Zhong Yi and Yao Jiantsai. Regarding this, Zhong Yi only laughed it off. As for Yao Jiantsai, he also took it as it was. There was no other choice since he had already boarded Zhong Yi's pirate ship. Having already reached this stage, there was no point in holding back. Just scold on. Let's see who can scold better. That night, at Zhong Yi's parents' place. The door opened to reveal Zhong Yi's mom smiling, you're back, son. Yo, isn't that teacher Yao? Little Yi, why didn't you inform us beforehand that you were bringing a guest home? He's not an outsider anyway. Zhong Yi said. Yao Jinsai greeted, big sis. His mother said, come in quickly. His father also came out when he heard the commotion, this is, teacher Yao? Big bro and big sis, please don't address me as teacher. You can just call me old Yao or something. Yao Jiantsai had brought some gifts along and placed them on the table. You're so courteous to have bought something. His mother was very happy as she said to Yao Jiantsai, Little Yi's father and I both always watch the dramas that you act in. You're really good in them. When we found out that you and Little Yi knew each other since some time ago, we've always told him to invite you over for a meal but this rascal kept ignoring us. Yao Jiantsai laughed and said, I've been wanting to visit you all for some time now. I've always been curious who brought up such a talented person like my old bro. His mother grinned from ear to ear, obviously liking what she had heard, we didn't do much. We've always just let him be since he was young. I guess it's just little Yi having that talent all along. Ring, ring, ring. Zhong Yi's cell phone rang. It was from his eldest young sister. Brother, where are you at? I'm with Tong Tong and Meng Meng outside now, why don't you give us a treat? Cao Dan said, it's been some time since we saw you. Zhong Yi laughed, I'm at my parents' place. Do you all want to come over? Ah? Sure, we'll go over, said Cao Dan. After a while, the three sisters arrived at the house in excitement. Bro! Idol! You're truly our idol. The second sister shouted as she came into the house. The third sister also said loudly, Bro, you were really too suave on today's live broadcast. Ha ha ha. It was scolded in such a gratifying manner. That I will reject the three vulgarities is just godly. The eldest sister laughed, the key moments were when two of the judges were chased off by your scolding. I think only our brother has such an ability. You have such a glib tongue. Zhong Yi laughed along, I guess it was okay. The third sister suddenly noticed someone seated on the sofa and shouted, Aya, old Yao. Zhong Yi's mother slapped her on her head and said, Is old Yao a name for you to call? He he, that's what everyone calls him these days. It's more endearing anyway. The three sisters gathered around Yao Jiantsai and started asking him about all sorts of questions. The house had gotten quite lively. When dinner started, the three sisters did not stop their chattering. Zhong Yi's father asked, Little Yi, will you two be all right after scolding them so harshly? Zhong Yi proudly said, How big of a matter can it be? If they can scold me, then can't I scold them back? Those bunch of grandsons are exactly who I am scolding. Yao Jiantsai said, Right. At this moment, the third sister, who was browsing the news on her cell phone exclaimed, Ah, the Crawstalk world is having a conference. Look at this, look at this, 
they're saying that it's a discussion about the state of mess that the crawstalk world is in right now, and how the art of crawstalk should be developing instead. They are also talking about how to resist those vulgar performance works and actors. Damn, aren't they basically referring to our brother? Did they even have to organize such a large conference of a few hundred people just to come up with a plan to take care of my brother? What the heck are they planning? John Yi laughed it off, just let them do what they want. The eldest sister said, this is exactly a case of successful people having their haters. Those bunch of people have been performing crosstalk for so many years and even some of the older ones have been doing for several decades now, but they could only go so far in it and the audiences aren't that impressed at all, but when my brother, who has had no experience in crosstalk showed what he was capable of and attracted so much interest with his works, they became unhappy and jealous. Ah, really, those bunch of people really do not have the bearings of an artist at all. Following that, at 7.30 p.m. The SARFT's official Weibo posted, control against the rise of vulgar culture. All television stations, sectors, and institutions have been cooperating closely to control the rise of vulgar works, but in recent times, some of these vulgar works have surfaced again. The control against such works of vulgar, base, and Philistine tendencies must be tightened as to ensure that the positive energy of works can come through successfully. It was an essay littered with hundreds of words in it. The second sister's face changed, they're targeting our brother again? Yao Jiansai had not expected the SARFT to reiterate the message with a post, that is a warning for us. Of course, it was not purely targeted at Zhong Yi. He did not have that much of an influence to command such attention. It was more likely due to the many new works that had overstepped the line, and maybe also some of the other not-so-mainstream groups of crosstalk actors that made the authorities issue this warning. Ring, ring, ring. An unfamiliar number appeared on John Yi's caller ID. The other party introduced himself as the person in charge of the national crosstalk and skit competition. He said in a direct manner to John Yi, if your performance work tomorrow still involves any vulgar segments or satire, the competition will disqualify your team. There is no room for discussion on this. Chapter 493, Arrival of the Third Crawstalk Performance At home. What's the matter? Who called? His parents and sisters looked at John Yi. But John Yi was smiling and said, it was just someone from the program team. They said that if our performance tomorrow still involves the three vulgarities, then we would be disqualified from the competition without fail. His third sister said, then how will you deal with this? His mother was furious, those people are forcing you into a corner. Why is it that when my son says it, it becomes disallowed? Who set the rules saying that a crawstalk can only be elegant? Aren't they poking their noses into everything? Why are all the policies or regulations directed at my son? Did my son commit murder or arson? The second sister slammed her hand down on the table, this is too atrocious. His father asked, then you won't be able to say it anymore? Yao Jinsai also asked, old bro? What do you think, old Yao? Zhong Yi blinked. Yao Jinsai laughed and said, the crosstalk performance was written by you, I will say it however you write it. Compromise might give us a chance of survival? If we continue to do it as we did, then we might be disqualified. Zhong Yi knew very well that someone from the crosstalk world had pushed this issue up to the authorities with a letter or report. Because of this, they were now given an ultimatum and forced into a corner once again. At the same time, the news spread online. The crosstalk competition program team had singled out Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai's work and criticized it on their Weibo, and the official site, giving them a stern warning. Many of the netizens were discussing jubilantly about, I will reject the three vulgarities, with some of them having watched it several times already. Everyone was talking about it, but with the news of the criticism from the Crawstalk World's conference, the decree passed by the SARFT, as well as the warning given by the competition's program team, many of these netizens were taken by surprise. What? If they go on saying such things, they'll be disqualified? Based on what? F asterisk asterisk K. Numbed. Is there still justice? Aren't they just attracting anger this way? Those bunch of crawstalkers are such grandsons. It isn't easy for teacher Jong and teacher Yao. After being banned, they barely found a way to stay in the public eye but now they still want to get rid of him once and for all? 
They don't even want to give him a chance. I can't accept this. Me neither. Why is Crawlstalk only meant to educate people? Based on what? I only enjoy watching Zhong Yi's version of Crawlstalking. Why does my right to like something have to be taken away? It hasn't been easy for our nation to produce two talented Crawlstalk actors like Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai, so why did you have to do this to them? And you even claim that this was for the good of the Crawlstalk world? Why don't you all just go to hell? Zhong Yi won't be able to perform Crawlstalks anymore? He can still do it, but it will have to be done according to their mainstream rules and regulations, to educate the people. On the other end, the Crawlstalk world's members were getting arrogant once again. With the decree from the SARFT and the program team's official warning, they became more emboldened, especially those who had been scolded in today's, I will reject the three vulgarities. All of them jumped out once again. Xu Wenxiong probably gave an interview after the conference ended and said some words, which had been reported by an online news agency. The words were as such, to my knowledge, crawlstalk is used to encourage others to be good and not used as a scolding tool. That kind of crawlstalk won't last and will only cause the corruption of the culture behind crawlstalks. If we allow Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai to continue like this, sooner or later it would create a mess that we can no longer control, so we must definitely rid the crawlstalk world of such a person. Tang Dazhang posted on Weibo, the competition program team should have handled it this way in the first place. This kind of work insults crawlstalk and the vulgarity in it is akin to eating garlic raw. One of Tang Dazhang's disciples also said, teacher said it well. This is just like eating raw garlic, which would irritate your mouth and eyes. I've been wondering why the audience would even call it a good work. Huh. Another crawlstalk artist said, it's just like in the movies. Although we're fixated on the plot and content, a good movie should leave you thinking after you are done watching it. That would mean the work was a success and the message it wants to send to the viewers has been transmitted successfully as well. A crawlstalk work is the same. It cannot just make people laugh, but should instead do so and leave a little for the listeners to ponder upon. Using vulgar segments to tease and tickle the audience is as good as being worthless. Countless crawlstalk actors stepped forward to say their piece. This time, it was even more than the number of people that had denounced Zhong Yi yesterday. It was clear that this was because of the momentum of things happening after the crawlstalk conference had concluded. A young crawlstalk actor said, I don't find Zhong Yi's work to be funny. I just felt that it was very vulgar. A crawlstalk competition participant said, Is it that difficult to present a piece of work that is a little bit more elegant and meaningful? Why did he has to stick to the lesser, non-mainstream style? It really makes me despise them. An old veteran of crawlstalking said, I suggest that they be stripped of their qualifications to take part in the competition. During the afternoon at today's live broadcast, most people had already witnessed Zhong Yi's scolding prowess. They had seen his wit and knew that those bunch of people could not outscold him. That Zhong Guy had already scolded countless people and his mouth was well known to be venomous. This was the reason why no one was willing to step on his tail as the consequences would be really bad. But after tonight's crawlstalk conference, the SARFT, and the competition program team's statements, they were riled up again. They knew that it was over for Zhong Yi and he wouldn't be able to last for more than a few more days. This led to everyone coming forward to laugh at Zhong Yi and denounce him. Not only them, even some of Zhong Yi's old enemies found the courage to make some noise. For example, those Korean undergraduates who knew of Zhong Yi's hatred for the Koreans. Boycott Zhong Yi. Boycott him with all we got. Let's keep Zhong Yi down forever. What's so good about his work? I also enjoy China's crawlstalk performances a lot because there are so many joke segments that are memorable and thoughtful. It makes one feel full of emotions just listening to them, but what are the things that are said by Zhong Yi? Disqualify them. Ban them forever. Ha ha, I will predict that they will last just one more performance, in which they wouldn't dare say anything about anything since the authorities have already made their stand. It's as good as pinpointing them. Yeah, let's see if he still dares to scold. Unless he's mad. This time, it's really over for Zhong Yi. How can he stand up against the whole crawlstalk world alone? They have so many artists on their side, so surely they would be able to take him into control. Haha, <laughs> let's see what he talks about tomorrow. I suppose it will be his last performance tomorrow. 
no matter what he says, he'll end up disqualified. He has really offended too many people. There were countless voices. Countless of denouncing voices. On this night, the whole crawlstalk world had declared war on Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai. There were many comments on the internet regarding Zhong Yi's works. It was divided into who was for and against, with numerous netizens talking about the topic of whether Zhong Yi should be boycotted, whether crawlstalk needed to be educational, and the difference between an elegant crawlstalk and a vulgar one. Meanwhile, Zhong Yi, who was at home, no longer bothered about the comments. He already had an idea for tomorrow's crawlstalk competition performance. Chapter 494, A Compilation of Guadi Gang's Crawlstalks The next day. That afternoon, at Central TV's competition grounds. Today's recording location was a different set, not at the original, small recording studio they had previously been in. The location had been changed to a hall in the basement that took up two levels, or you could say that it was more like an auditorium. All in all, it could accommodate an audience of about 2,000 to 300 people. This location was usually reserved for smaller scale gala events, but it had been reserved for the National Crawlstalk Competition today. As the competition had reached the third and final round of preliminaries, all the teams had gathered here for the live internet broadcast. Those who passed the first two preliminary rounds would draw lots to decide their order of appearance. This was why the last round would take longer than usual, as there were a hundred teams scheduled to perform. The estimated period of time for this final round was slated to last about three days. The auditorium was filled to the brim with audience members. Seated in the front row were some of the leaders from Central TV, the Crawstalk Association's president, members of the folk arts world, and even some of the judges. Tang Dazhang and Xu Wenxiong were amongst those seated in front. Little Tang. Master Xu. Your two disciples are quite good. Haha, <laughs> they aren't quite there yet. They will still need a lot more practice. Many crawlstalk actors were chatting amongst themselves as well. An area had been set off to the side specially for the qualifying 500 teams of the first round, in which Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai were a part of. The seats behind them and on the second level were made up of random people, whether they were fellow crawlstalk actors, media, or staff from other agencies. There were also some lucky winners from the Weibo held lucky draw and others who had gotten the tickets, as well as employees from sponsorship companies. They made up 80% of the audience and numbered in the thousands. I'm so looking forward to this. Who do you like the most out of everyone? Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai of course. Ha ha, I like their crawlstalk too. It's really good. But looks like they will have some trouble today. The authorities had already warned them and their fellow actors are also boycotting them. Even the organizers have issued an ultimatum against them, so I wonder how they will perform today. At yesterday's crawlstalk conference, I heard they listed out Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai's seven deadly sins. They also said that Zhong Yi kept using the term father to insult Yao Jintsai and his constant use of swear words. That bunch of people is really good at distorting the facts. I think that they're just jealous. Will they continue their vulgar style of cross talk, or will they compromise with an educational one? Teacher Zhong Yi and Teacher Yao Jintsai have probably already made their choice. In the middle row, Tian Bin had also gotten his hands on some tickets as a radio host of Central TV to watch his old colleague perform. On stage, the hosts had appeared and they were a male and female duo. Leaders, guests, and members of the audience. Good afternoon to every one of you. The first segment for today's show will be to reveal the second preliminary round's vote tally. Among the 500 teams, the top 100 teams would advance to the final round of preliminaries. After a bunch of introductions and encouraging words, the results were finally revealed. Coming in first place, Team Nameless with a total of 1.28 million votes. When this figure was shown, everyone in the auditorium drew in a cold breath of air. Everyone was no longer interested in the vote numbers of the final 99 teams. The suspense had already been lost as the second-ranked team had only garnered 31,000 votes, with the following teams getting 25,000, 9,000, 8,925 and 6,700. These figures were not noticed by anyone at all. The nameless team's votes had surpassed all of their votes added together by multiple times, so there wasn't anything to play for at all. 
Actually, in the past years, no team had gotten such low vote numbers before. They would at least score 80 to 90,000 votes or even 100,000 votes for the good performances, but this year, Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai were too good for the others. They hogged all the attention and votes for themselves and left almost nothing for their competitors to scrape off. The whole set was filled with discussion. Everyone knew Team Nameless was Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai's team. But the hosts made no mention of first place and their introduction title only flashed for a second before disappearing. The hosts directly moved on to announcing the qualifying teams for the third preliminary round, without mentioning Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai's names. They had skipped past them without a second thought. They could take part in the competition, but Central TV Department 11 would not give them any promotions or airtime at all. Half an hour later, the lottery draw for their scheduled appearances began. On the right side of the seating area, Yao Jintsai turned slightly and whispered, it'd be better if we get to go early. Yes. Zhong Yi smiled, for today's performance, I think it's the best if we can go first. Yao Jintsai said, yeah, if it happens too late, then I'm afraid we won't even have the chance to perform. If we get scheduled for the third day, the Crawlstalk world members might even try to create issues for us and cause the program team to disqualify us. Zhong Yi squinted a little and said, let's leave it to luck. It's the best if we can go first. His words had just stopped when the number on the big screen located on the stage came to a stop. Seeing the number it stopped left many people stunned. The female host hesitated for a moment before announcing the number, the first scheduled performance will be by Division C, number 8. They did not announce their names, but everyone knew. This was Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai's team number. Yao Jintsai slapped his thigh loudly and smiled, great one, old bro. We're starting the show. That suits me just fine. Haha, ha, why do I feel that our luck has been extremely good these past two days? Zhong Yi knew that it wasn't exactly down to luck, but due to his activation of the skill lowering of difficulty. Over on the other side, the staff quickly looked for the two of them, both of you, please go backstage and prepare. Although the lottery draw was still going until all 100 teams' appearance orders were decided, the first team still had to start preparing beforehand. And so, with everyone's eyes on them, Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai proceeded to go backstage. At the side of the stage, a meeting was being held in the studio. The program team's in charge said, I will say it again. There must absolutely be no mistakes today. The SARFT has already given our crosstalk competition a very stern warning. If we continue to broadcast any more footage of a banned artist, we will all be left jobless, so all of you better get serious. Understood. Don't worry about it this time. Someone said, Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai will be appearing first, so shall we. The person in charge and the station had obviously had a discussion earlier on how to handle this, commercials will be shown for the entire 10 minutes of their performance. We won't be giving them any airtime at all. They will be cut off one second before their performance starts. Everyone nodded, okay. The in charge repeated, don't ever, ever make any mistake this time. The previous two live broadcasts that Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai had received had already left the management scratching their heads in anger. If it happened again, none of them could bear the responsibility, and all of them would be fired. Another 30 minutes had gone by. The National Crawstalk Competition's final round of preliminaries had officially started. Just before the host was about to announce the first performers, just backstage, the person in charge gave his instruction, right now air the commercials and cut off the feed from the studio. A staff member quickly changed the controls and said, it's done. The person in charge was really afraid that things would go wrong again, check it again. The broadcast has already cut to the commercials. That same staff member confirmed. The person in charge said, all other positions, do a confirmation as well. Seven or eight staff members busily adjusted their controls to check and confirm that the commercials were playing, there are really no problems, leader. Only at this point did the person in charge heave a sigh of relief. But it seems that Central TV was destined to have strange happenings occurring for these few days. A staff member was just making use of the free time that they had now to eat something from their lunchbox when, without warning, a portable charger exploded with a loud noise. The youth received a great shock from it and threw the lunchbox out of his hand, scattering the contents all over the equipment. 
his elbow reactively smashed into two buttons on the control panel, Barda. The portable charger flew to the side, where everyone placed their clothing at and flames ignited from it, spreading very quickly. Ah! It's on fire! Put it out! Put out the fire! Ah yeah! Everyone was furiously trying to put out the fire since the live broadcast controls had already been set anyway. No one checked it, as putting out the fire had taken priority at this moment, otherwise, all the controls in the room would be affected. On the web. Tens of thousands of viewers were waiting for the Crawstalk live broadcast to start. It's Zhong Yi's turn. Right, he's going first. Ha ha, I can't wait any longer. A, hey, damn. Why did it cut to the commercials? They're clearly not giving Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai any airtime. A, hey, no, the feed is back. Ha ha ha. Teacher Zhong and Teacher Yao are coming out soon. In the auditorium. The female host smiled as she announced, Next, we have our first group of performers, Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai. This time, she read out their names, as the hosts had already been informed earlier of the plan for Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai's performance to not be broadcasted. Yao Jinsai came on stage first, followed by Zhong Yi behind him. When they saw them appear on stage, the folk arts and crosstalk world members did not show any reaction, but the thousands of audience members roared with cheers and applause for the two of them. They were already laughing loudly and slapping their thighs when they saw their faces, with some even whistling to cheer them on. The crawstalk actors were all frowning. Those crawstalk competition participants didn't look happy either. Only some of the media people looked at each other and whispered about the ongoings. No matter how the others scolded Zhong Yi, no matter how they chose not to recognize him, just based on Zhong Yi's popularity alone, no one from the crawstalk world could compare to him. Crawstalk had always had a small following as a culture. Nobody had ever heard anything like Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai's Crawstalk performances. In the past, this was unthinkable. And then, everyone stared at the stage as they thought. Would they compromise? Would teacher Zhong seek amnesty with the Crawstalk world? Although everyone knew Zhong Yi's personality to be free spirit he was, at this moment, everyone could not be sure of anything. They weren't sure what kind of performance Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai would do, as they had been banned after all. The national crosstalk competition was their last resort, and if they were disqualified, there would be no road ahead for the two of them. They could join other competitions? With the crosstalk competition as an example, no other organizers would accept them anymore. Even if they would be criticized by name, they would never let Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai take part in their competitions. That was without question. The microphone was set. Zhong Yi stood on stage and looked up. He smiled and said, there's quite a large turnout today. Yao Jinsai nodded, that is how it is. They're all here to listen to the crawstalk performances. Zhong Yi said, the opening performance will be performed by the two of us. Would everyone like to listen, or would everyone like to listen? I won't force you to choose. Yao Jinsai said, heh, and you call that not forcing. Just those few sentences, those few opening lines, had left thousands of audience members in tears from their laughter. With such a level of skill, Zhong Yi left those crosstalk artists with frowns on their faces. Zhong Yi smiled, actually, we preferred going to places like the television station to perform our crosstalk. Yao Jinsai asked, why is that so? Zhong Yi said, because it's really well led here. Ah? Yao Jinsai said. The central TV program team members' expressions all changed. Zhong Yi pointed to the two sides and said, there are people leading the applause on the sides. Sometimes when you watch those crosstalk performances on TV, the actors just come on stage or as they speak their first few lines, there is immediate applause. Yao Jinsai wondered, when they speak their first few lines? Zhong Yi grabbed hold of his throat and uttered, today. Hua la la la, I will give, hua la la la, everyone, Hua la la la, a short cross stalk, hua la la la, if it is not good, hua la la la. Then he looked at the audience and said, if it is not good, there would still be applause, but look at it today. Yao Jinsai said, what's the matter? Zhong Yi pointed somewhere off stage, there's no applause at all. The audience was stunned for a moment before everyone laughed and began clapping. They were giving the heartiest of applauses. Firstly, they had really been amused by what was said. 
Secondly, it was because Zhong Yi and Yao Jiantsai's opening lines had set the tone. Everyone knew by now what they were going to do. Teacher Zhong Yi was still going to do what he did usually. He had not taken the warning to heart, nor the ultimatum. He just continued on in his own way. He had begun his satirical jokes about those crosstalk artists, who frequently featured on TV the moment he came on stage. Like a hedgehog, he would prick whoever tried to catch him. He had already completely let go of himself. Today's crosstalk performance was definitely not going to be simple. Zhong Yi said, thank you for everyone's applause. It seems like there are many people who like us. Yao Jiantsai laughed, everyone's being so supportive. Zhong Yi smacked his mouth and said, of course, there's still some controversy in that. Yao Jiantsai head turned sideways a little, you can take away that some. It's basically full of controversy. The audience, Yi. Ha 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 ha. Zhong Yi laughed and said, some of the authorities mentioned to me saying. Zhong Yi, your crosstalk is very vulgar and you're always insulting old Yao, referring to him as his father's son. That sort of style is incorrect and it will be a bad influence and lead the audience astray. All of that are negative influences. Yao Jiantsai could only helplessly reply, yes, someone did say that. Zhong Yi narrowed his eyes and said, I wonder then if the relevant departments are being too harsh on crosstalk. Aren't you all underestimating the intelligence of the viewers? Oh, those who shoot movies will often show someone stabbing another person to death, but you know it isn't real. Then in TV dramas, the actors who act as father and son are also known not to be related in real life. How about those novels? The main characters would fly about and walk on walls to save the world, but everyone knows it's exaggerated too, and so I really wonder. Why is it that when it concerns us, all of that suddenly becomes real? When the audience heard that, they all began to clap in unison. Well said. That's right. Yao Jintai smiled and said, that's really a tall order for us. Zhong Yi said, please, have mercy on crosstalks. We are just two non-mainstream crosstalk actors who aren't as capable as famous mainstream crosstalk actors. Oh, if the corrupted society is not capable of leading everyone astray, then surely our crosstalk won't be able to as well, right? Would everyone who watches our performance go out to commit murder and become arsonists? Aren't you all overestimating what we can do? The audience were laughing so hard that they almost got cramps, ha 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 ha. Zhong Yi said, honestly if teacher Yao and I had such capabilities, do we still need to be crosstalk actors? Yao Jiantsai also laughed along, yeah, we really don't have such capabilities at all. Ba ba ba. The applause rang out once again. Everyone was hungering for more by now. If yesterday's, I will reject the three vulgarities, was performed with an ironical sense, then today's performance would be direct satire. It was a totally different style of sarcasm, and Zhong Yi was about to showcase his diverse skills in scolding people. The leaders of the related fields in the front row didn't look too good. The bunch of crosstalk actors also looked terrible. No one had expected that Zhong Yi would still carry on this way after the SARFT's decree and the program team's ultimatum. It seemed like Zhong Yi even scolded them with more persistence now and all of this still seemed inconceivable to them. Zhong Yi! Are you mad? You're even scolding the related fields? Do you really intend on not staying in the entertainment circle anymore? Zhong Yi and Yao Jiantsai both knew that today would be their last performance in the crosstalk competition. This was the reason why they did not hold back as both of them just wanted to enjoy themselves during the performance. Why the heck should they care about who these people are? And so, Zhong Yi brought out a compilation of Guadi Gang's crosstalks for this. He wanted to put together the performances of old Guo, such as You Want to Be Elegant, The State of Crosstalk for the Past 50 Years, and many others. Since it was their last performance, then these two brothers must scold till their hearts were fully satisfied. Chapter 495, Scolding and Scolding. Scolding all the way. On the web. Those watching the crosstalk competition live stream were left stunned. Teacher Jong is starting to become even more ruthless. Ha ha, that bunch of people are really unlucky. They really annoyed Teacher Jong this time. If Jong Yi really starts to release the hooligan in him, no one can stop him. Awesome. Well scolded. My frustrations are all vented now. 
There are so many terrible things in society and none of them have led the audience astray, so why would teacher Zhong Yi's crawlstalk do that? Aren't they really just making a big fuss? Supporting Zhong Yi. They've said what I'm thinking. At the venue. The audience was getting excited. Zhong Yi said, if crawlstalk is so powerful, why are we still researching missiles for? Why are we researching nuclear weapons and using an army for? We should just send a bunch of crawlstalk actors and destroy anyone in our path. The audience was cheering him on. Great. Well said. Zhong Yi continued on, some people like to keep the word vulgar hanging from their mouths to make themselves appear more elegant. The upper classes of society that say that others are vulgar are just pretending to be confused. The expert scholars saying that others are vulgar are just sad. But I am sadder than that. Amidst the applause from the audience, he said, when crawlstalk actors say that others are vulgar, that is just a sign of jealousy. Jealousy. Hatred. The applause was ringing again. Ha ha ha. Yee. The crawlstalk artists nearly swore at this. The crawlstalk competition participants who had banded together to boycott Zhong Yi were also fuming. Yao Jintsai smiled and said, only between fellow peers would it be pure hatred. Zhong Yi said, I have a poem that perfectly describes the state of the crawlstalk world now. Yao Jintsai said, why don't you recite it for us? Zhong Yi began reciting, the frosty winter looks forward to spring. This poem was a work of Zhong Yi a while ago and was titled, Eight Things to Look Forward to. When he recited up to that part, many of the audience members also followed and recited along with him. Zhong Yi also slowed down his recital and allowed everyone to recite it alongside him. Audience, the beautiful looks forward to sugar daddies. Audience, the leisurely mistress looks forward to hooligans. Audience, the scholar studying at night looks forward to a female ghost. 10 people. 50 people. 100 people. The audience chanted along, creating a spectacular scene. A single old man looks forward to an aunt. A person in acting looks forward to awards. For the final line, everyone dragged out their words along with Zhong Yi and shouted, a person in crawlstalk looks forward to, the death. Of. His peers. And then, everyone laughed evilly in unison. The timing and coordination of the audience and the duo were too good, thus everyone felt that they enjoyed it thoroughly. Yao Jintsai said jubilantly, wow, that was in perfect unison. As Zhong Yi had used that poem to scold the literary world before, it was rather well known. On top of that, it was easy to remember. Anyone who read it once or twice before would be able to memorize it. All of these reasons had helped create the spectacular scene in the studio. Zhong Yi and the audience members were enjoying themselves, but for those crawlstalk world members, they were so angry that they nearly wanted to bite someone. Zhong Yi, you bastard. After scolding us, you even led the audience to scold us all together with you. Aren't you being too wicked? This audience were really going too far as well. Why were they following suit? Zhong Yi said, what is elegance? What is vulgarity? Yao Jintsai said, there are many people on the internet discussing about this right now. Zhong Yi said, our crawlstalk actors have already proclaimed that listening to a symphony makes you elegant while listening to music on the internet, is vulgar. Hi. Yao Jintsai shook his head. Zhong Yi said, if a celebrity lip syncs, it is elegance, while self-promotional artists online are vulgar. Yao Jintsai laughed, they must be joking. Zhong Yi said, viewing the human body is elegant, but cracking dirty jokes is vulgar, followed by. Drinking coffee is elegant while eating garlic is, vulgar. Yi. The audience was laughing out loudly. They had, of course, seen what Tang Dazhang and his disciple had written online last night, referring to Zhong Yi's works as raw garlic that was vulgar to the last bit. Zhong Yi scolded, the great man taught us to say, go to hell, you little rascal son of a gun. Yao Jintsai then said, which great man taught us something like that? My second uncle. Zhong Yi said. Great. Ha ha ha. Go to hell, son of a gun. The audience followed along in the scolding. Zhong Yi said, let me reiterate on that. Elegance is not something that you can fake. He emphatically added, only being a grandson is something that you can fake. 
Tang Dajan was seething and so angry that he wanted to leave the venue. The other crawlstalk actors were also witnessing that crawlstalk could be delivered in such a manner for the first time during this competition. Zhang Yi continuously scolded, if you have the time to criticize, why don't you all go and practice your basic tongue twisters instead? That is something which would be relevant to crawlstalk instead of what you all have been doing. Yao Jinsai nodded, that's very true. Zhang Yi was getting more and more excited as he spoke, sometimes when I see them faking it, I get angry too. Why don't they just pass their days peacefully rather than finding trouble wherever they go? After getting onto the public buses, isn't it tiring enough to deal with the crowds? With a red face from all that squeezing, they still insist on taking out an English newspaper to read. Do you even know how to read English? The audience laughed out, ha ha ha. Zhang Yi said, and on the streets having a conversation, why do you need to speak half in Chinese and half in English? Yao Jinsai asked, really? Zhang Yi continued, even while buying apples. Hello ah, sir. I will look look ah. Your apple is $2 for 3.5 kgs? With a change in his tone, he said, you're already buying rotten apples, why do you still need to show off? This is all I've got. Yao Jinsai smiled and said, that's true. Zhang Yi said, and that person who is wearing the big yellow chain. Some people suddenly discovered. That an experienced crawlstalk actor in his 40s who was sitting in the front row was wearing a big gold chain hanging around his neck. This person was one of the actors who had called for a boycott against Zhang Yi on Weibo and had a huge reputation within the crawlstalk world. He was on equal standing with Tang Dazhang and was considered to be part of the crawlstalk association's upper management. Yao Jinsai asked, Gold chain? Zhang Yi seethed, Don't sweat. If there's sweat, the vest would surely get dirty. Yao Jinsai realizingly said, the color will fade? Isn't that made of gold? Zhang Yi sarcastically said, that's made of plastic and plated with copper. Yao Jinsai finally lost it and laughed, great, that really looks like the real thing. The crawlstalk actor who was wearing the gold chain had turned red in embarrassment. He nearly vomited blood. He had not expected Zhang Yi to call out on him. Zhang Yi continued his scoldings, and for some other people, a year, to buy a bottle of shampoo, they even have to go all the way to Hong Kong saucer chain to buy it. Come on! You don't even have as much hair as teacher Yao over here. As Yao Jinsai had shaved his hair off for a role whose filming had concluded a short while ago, he said in a speechless manner, a baldy? Then why would that person wash his head for? Zhang Yi said, that's what I'm talking about. Below the stage, there were three crawlstalk actors who had scolded Zhang Yi before and were bald as well. When they heard this, they nearly wanted to roll up their sleeves and go up on stage to beat him up. Even the cameraman turned around to capture them on frame. Perhaps it was because they knew that this wasn't a live broadcast, so they just subconsciously did their basic duties as cameramen. On the big screen in front, the faces of the three bald crawlstalk actors appeared. When the audience saw this, all of them burst out laughing. Ha 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 ha. Ayo, I can't take it anymore. Zhang Yi continued on indifferently, someone even got their pants wet and blamed it on spilling an abalone on it while eating. If you peed your pants, just say you peed your pants. Yao Jiantsai, he. The audience, pfft. Ha 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 ha. Zhang Yi said, and that other one, after finishing his meal, he told the service crew to put it on his tab. When the service crew said it wasn't an available service, he said that he would pay by credit card then. With a pause, Zhang Yi contemptuously said, you're just having a bowl of wonton soup, what the hell are you using your credit card for? Yao Jiantsai was tickled, that is really rather inappropriate. Zhang Yi said, trying to act like a know-it-all. Especially those of us who are in the line of performing crawlstalks. All day long we seek elegance in everything we do. Wasn't it like this yesterday? When our country's crawlstalk world held a conference. Yao Jiantsai blinked, they were really diligent about it. Zhang Yi laughed, yeah, that group of people had no place left to perform their crawlstalks, so all they can do is to attend conferences. Yao Jiantsai said, they went there to practice their basics. The audience laughed heartily. Zhang Yi said, thereafter, there was a crawlstalk expert, a certain Xu Do. Yao Jiantsai, an expert that doesn't dare leave their full name? Shu Do? Crawlstalk Master Shu Wenxiong? 
many in the audience had their concentration jolted. Zhong Yi said, he told me to follow him home, telling me, comrade little Zhong, come with me back home. I will teach you about elegance and vulgarity. It wouldn't be right if you don't come along with me. Let's go. Yao Jinsai said, then you must surely go with him. Zhong Yi said, when I went inside his house, I could see that there were couplets hanging from his walls. The air of a cultured person was very strong, lying on the sandy beach for two and a half years, my body would flip around when hit by the waves. Yao Jinsai wondered and asked, oh? Zhong Yi revealed surprisingly, when I saw it, I knew that it meant a tortoise bastard. The thousands of audience members were laughing madly by now. So damaging. That scolding was so damn damaging. When Xu Wenxiong, who was below the stage in his seat, heard this, his body swayed a little. His mustache was even curling in anger. All the other crawstalk actors and artists were fuming in anger. Holy sure asterisk T. Zhong Yi, you actually have the audacity to scold just about anyone. You even dared to set up a joke using Master Shu? Yao Jinsai asked, an expert is really good at solving riddles. Zhong Yi said, at his house, on the table were two books. It looked like they were really deep books and probably only suited for elegant people to read. Yao Jinsai asked, what kind of books were they? Zhong Yi snapped his fingers and said, one of them was Xinhua Dictionary. Dot. Yao Jinsai nodded, there's a lot of knowledge to be found in dictionaries. It would be difficult just to study everything in it. What about the other book? Zhong Yi replied, the other one was called How to Check a Dictionary. Yao Jinsai nearly fainted, well, this person doesn't even know how to use a dictionary. The audience, wah ha 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 ha. Zhong Yi said, and then, the old artist began to teach me some lessons. He told me that we must be elegant and not vulgar. Even if we have to pay with our lives, we have to maintain the elegance and not bow to vulgarity. For almost the whole day, he did not say anything proper and only kept repeating that. Finally, he told me, little Zhong, don't be unhappy. You can choose not to stay silent, but we will definitely be able to silence you. We will write anonymous letters, reports, and use all sorts of tricks, do you know? Even resort to snitching? Did Zhong Yi and Yao Jiantsai get issued with a warning because of them? The audience started booing, Yi. The crawstalk world members' expressions changed again. Zhong Yi continued to say, the old artist even told me earnestly, you might not understand me, so you will scold me for now, but when you understand my intentions, then you will, want to kill me. Audience, ha 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 ha. Yao Jinsai said, he, even he himself knows that he is hated that much. Zhong Yi said, he even said that we should work harder to gain elegance. If we worked hard enough, there will be a day when anyone looking down at us from the moon would no longer be able to see Earth. All they would be able to see is a bunch of crawstalk artists floating in space and being elegant. The previous time, he had mentioned that the Great Wall could be seen. But this time, not even Earth could be seen anymore. In the studio, the thousands of people were already laughing helplessly. Yao Jinsai also added, they even managed to get rid of Earth? That bunch of people must really be causing a big mess. Zhong Yi sighed, after coming on stage, I kept thinking to myself about something. That if we were to execute one of every two crawstalk actors, there would surely still be no injustice done. Chapter 496, Wave After Wave of Destruction The mood of the audience in the studio was hitting a fever pitch. On the internet, the viewers were also getting excited. The audience were liking what they saw and couldn't help but applaud. They felt that Zhong Yi was really spot on with his scolding. Those who knew Zhong Yi well knew that his path to where he was now hadn't been easy. He had been detained in a police station before and had also been banned by the Beijing television station, in Shanghai, and by the SARFT. Up till here, Zhong Yi was left with no choice but to partake in the crawstalk competition. He did not even offend anyone, yet a bunch of crawstalk actors were calling for his boycott and to get him banned. Were they not forcing him into a corner? If this happened to anyone other than him, they would probably not stand for it too, so of course he had to scold them back. He needed to turn everything upside down like a caught fish would attempt to break the net it was caught in. Zhong Yi threw up his hands in resignation and said, and so, whenever I see anyone scolding me or some expert trying to educate me, I will basically just ignore them. 
With all of this said, I have gained such penetrating insight that I can even use it to see past the mosaics in a censored, R-rated video. The audience roared together, Yi. Yao Jinsai said, Wow, so you've watched a lot of those videos. Zhong Yi nodded and looked at him, I will return them to you soon. Ah? Yao Jinsai stared at him and said, I lent them to you. The audience laughed, ha 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 ha. Below the stage, Tian Bin was also thoroughly enjoying himself and laughing till he cramped up. Only a few male and female youths, whose hair were dyed with bright colors, did not laugh. They were trying to create trouble from where they were seated, not far from the stage. A red-haired youth shouted, get down from the stage. Another youth with green hair shouted, what the heck are you saying? What kind of lousy crosstalk is this, said the group of six to seven people. They were all shouting, and there was even someone who was clearly a Chinese citizen yelling something in Korean. He even put on a smug look after doing so as he knew only that group could understand while everyone else did not get it. He seemed to feel a sense of superiority in doing so. The noise kept coming from the group of people and it was very high-pitched and disturbing to the others. Many of the audience members looked at them unhappily, thinking who the heck they were and who invited them. Looking at their dressing, it definitely had to be Lee Anson or some Korean celebrities' fans. The audience knew that not only the Crawlstalk World's members were scolding Jong Yi on the internet. The ones who were the most aggressive in scolding were the Koreans and their fans. All of these people hated Jong Yi to the bone. In front, Tang Da Zhang, Xu Wenxiong, and some other Crawlstalk actors all turned around to check out who those people were. If they tried this during another group's crosstalk performance, they would definitely be unhappy. After all, someone was performing, the least you could do is give some respect, but as the current performer was Zhong Yi, these crosstalk actors felt rather good when they saw that some people were making trouble for him. It did not feel like they were being disrespectful at all. On the stage. Yao Jinsai heard the commotion and his eyebrows twitched. Everyone became quiet for a moment as the atmosphere in the studio changed. Zhong Yi looked at those people below the stage and smiled at them. He did not seem like he was affected at all and even spontaneously added a joke. We will still need to get back to the topic on elegance versus vulgarity. Yao Jinsai said, yes. Zhong Yi smiled and said, what do some people think being elegant is about? Yao Jinsai was a little stumped, thinking why he did not follow the script. Still, he reacted very quickly and asked, what is it about? Zhong Yi answered, being crazy about foreign things and obsequious to the foreigners. Huh, said Yao Jintsai. Zhong Yi said sarcastically, to act like foreigners, saying that foreign products are all good and elegant, there are those who adore the Koreans or Japanese, ha ha. To be honest, in the past those countries were all tribute nations to our country. Year after year, they would send tributes and pay homage to us. When their royal families had a child, they would send them here to be political hostages, but now, our people are putting them on a pedestal and worshipping their people? Tian Bin was clapping hard from where he was seated. Yao Jinsai bitterly smiled, there's a rise in such behavior, yes. Zhong Yi said, sometimes, I can't stand to see such behavior. Those children are all learning from these people and styling their hair in such atrocious ways. Like puffy updos, pixie cuts, or bob cuts. Then they dye streaks of red and white and red and white, making it look like Kim Kai. Yao Jinsai laughed and said, Hi, they do that so that they can show that they're true Hallyu fans. Many of the members of the audience were laughing hard at this. Those Hallyu youths all stared up on stage. He was precisely describing the look of their hairstyles. After Zhong Yi was done scolding the crosstalk world, he came to scold them. Zhong Yi kept on looking at them, their pants have leg openings bigger than the waist opening. They wear size 41 shoes even though their feet are only size 36. When they blink with those extended lashes, pa, even their hats would fall off. Yao Jinsai said, he, the hat is too light. The audience was enjoying it too much. They looked over to those Hallyu fans who were trying to make trouble, wondering if they still dared to mess with Zhong Yi. Don't you know that fella is the leader amongst professional Korean insulters? Trying to provoke him? Aren't you guys asking for it? However, many of the audience members and viewers were very interested in seeing how Zhong Yi would continue from there. 
because in his, Zhong Yi's talk show, a lot of them had already seen how Zhong Yi scolded Korea in a talk show format, but since crosstalk and talk shows were different forms of art, the way of scolding would surely be different. Since they've never heard it before, they became really curious. Indeed, Zhong Yi fulfilled everyone's wishes as he said, I heard that there are many talented people in Korea. Yao Jinsai said, there are definitely quite a few. Zhong Yi's eyes brightened as he said, I heard that all of the world's talented people are Koreans. People like Buddha and Confucius are their people. I even heard that teacher Yao belongs to their country. Yao Jinsai quickly gave a wave of his hand, I'm definitely not. Zhong Yi glanced at him, it would be good if you were. Since they do not know how good we are, if we were to send a few of our crosstalkers over to them, they would certainly cause the country to perish. Yao Jinsai said, oh boy, can a crosstalker really cause that much damage? When this joke came out, the audience immediately went into a crazed laughter. This was so good. This was too damn f asterisk asterisk king interesting. It seemed like Zhong Yi did not need to use a talk show style of scolding to insult the Koreans. He could do it in a crosstalk style as well. Not only that, he even managed to scold the crosstalk world together at the same time. A few crosstalk actors hit their seat arms in anger. Those Hallyu fans' faces also turned red in anger. Zhong Yi was not done speaking. I heard that Korea recently created a rocket which would carry some scientists and bring them all the way to the sun. Yao Jinsai stopped him, A, eh, wait a moment. To the sun? Zhong Yi said, yes. Yao Jinsai said nervously, but the sun is so hot. It's a ball of flames. Zhong Yi blinked and said, the Koreans said that they would go at night. All of the audience laughed loudly. Yao Jinsai said speechlessly, I've never heard of such careless people. Does it seem right that they should go there at night? Zhong Yi continued to say, whatever. We'd never understand the people from that place anyway, so let's just agree on the fact that they're just a small nation. Yao Jinsai nodded, yeah, they're not big. Zhong Yi said, they can't compare to us. Just look at our weather reports, those take 15 minutes just to finish reporting. Yao Jinsai nodded, that's because we have a lot of different areas to report on. Zhong Yi said, the Korean weather report only consists of one sentence. Yao Jinsai did not seem to understand, so he asked, what do you mean? Zhong Yi pointed to the sky and said, the whole country will experience rainfall. Yao Jinsai exclaimed, just a single rain cloud can cover the entire country? That's really too small. Ha 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 ha. Whole country will experience rainfall. P.U. Ayo, I can't take this anymore. Ha ha ha. Teacher Zhong Yi still has it in him. His combat power against the Koreans is rocketing off the charts. Look at teacher Zhong Yi's eyes. Whenever he speaks about this, his eyes are always gleaming. He's really making me laugh too hard. Godly. He's divine. A god of scolding. Tell me, how did teacher Zhong Yi's brain develop in such a freaking way? Is that a spontaneous act? I'm sure the script didn't have that. Didn't you see Yao Jinsai hesitate for a moment and nearly couldn't connect? This was a special joke segment meant for those Hallyu fans, a spontaneous joke segment. How awesome! John Yi is truly John Yi. He can do everything so effortlessly. Look at those Hallyu fans. Their faces have all turned green from the scolding. Wave after wave. The scoldings came at them wave after wave. He killed them over and over again. It was as though this question was posed to everyone, who still wants a piece of Zhong Yi. Those Hallyu fans could only stare in anger at Zhong Yi on the stage, but they could not muster up another word. They stopped their troublemaking as they knew that even if all of them combined their scolding prowesses, they would still be outmatched by that single person on stage. After the laughter died down, the audience became quiet. Zhong Yi blinked and said, I think we deviated a little. So right, where were we? Yao Jinsai said in frustration, I don't know either. You totally went off script. The audience laughed again. Sure enough, as they had thought, this had been a spontaneous joke segment that was added in. Zhong Yi had confused even himself with it and couldn't get back on point. Tang Dazhang and the other crosstalk world members were all waiting for him to fumble, but just one sentence from Zhong Yi was enough to disappoint them. 
Zhong Yi retraced his words and muttered, whole country experience rainfall, experience rainfall. So. So, what really is elegance? Yao Jinsai acted as though he was about to fall backward, he, is that how you retrace your words? Zhong Yi smiled and said, I had to go back to topic somehow. That is too great a transition. Yao Jinsai slapped his forehead. Ha 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 ha. Ah ha ha ha. As there was an incident of several Hallyu fans trying to create trouble, Zhong Yi had gone off tangent and inserted a joke segment to deal with them. Naturally, that caused the topic to go farther and farther away and should amount to a flaw in the crawlstalk, but with Zhong Yi's wit, he had turned this flaw and mistake into another joke segment. This caused the audience to laugh out loud at their words. To Zhong Yi, it seemed as though crawlstalk was as simple as a normal conversation. This was the first time the audience had heard crawlstalk presented in such a manner. Yao Jinsai was also very impressed. To partner with Zhong Yi in crawlstalking, he felt very at ease, like a fish in water. He was relaxed and only needed to support him with very little effort. All he needed to do was follow and the rest would be handled by Zhong Yi. Like the incident that had just happened, Yao Jinsai knew that if it were his old crawlstalk partner, they would definitely have been blindsided. The audience would surely spot the mistakes. Rather than mentioning about inserting a new joke segment, he was pretty sure they wouldn't even be able to follow through with the original script, but when all of these problems were handled by Zhong Yi, they did not even seem like problems at all. With a little bit of wrangling and chatting, any flaw could transform into a joke segment. It made the incident look like it was pre planned to tickle the audience. Zhong Yi's basics in crawlstalk had even embarrassed a professional crawlstalk actor like Yao Jinsai. A question also arose in the back of the audience's minds. Zhong Yi was an amateur? This was Zhong Yi's first time taking part in crawlstalk. He had never learned this before. Chapter 497, I don't know speed recital. The studio's atmosphere was getting hyped up. On stage, the crawlstalk performance was still ongoing. Zhong Yi looked at the audience and said, there are people who doubt us and criticize us, both of which we can understand why. Any form of art style will find it impossible to appeal to everyone. Some of those who say that they like Zhong Yi's crawlstalk, those people aren't wrong. While others who say that they dislike Zhong Yi's crawlstalk, they aren't wrong either, but if the second group of people continues to insist that they are more elegant than the first type, then they are making a big mistake. Ba ba ba. Great. Well said. The audience clapped loudly. Zhong Yi added on, that is also the reason why they are always considered 2nd rate. Ha ha ha, the audience laughed. Zhong Yi said, art is not something that can be classified as high class or low class. Yao Jinsai nodded in agreement, you're right. Zhong Yi said, elegance might exist, or not, but vulgarity is something none of us can escape from. Can you explain? Yao Jinsai asked. Zhong Yi said, it's easy to understand. For example, oil paintings, operas, or ballet, would you die if you don't view or watch those? You wouldn't die. Life would still carry on as usual, but to leave behind vulgarity, you would surely die. A garlic is vulgar? I don't believe that you can stir fry eggplant without adding garlic. Or are you going to use coffee in its place? Yao Jinsai laughed, have you ever heard of using coffee to stir fry vegetables? Zhong Yi said, shit, pee, farts are vulgar. If you are so capable, then don't ever go to the toilet in your lifetime. Yao Jinsai said, he, then surely they would die from constipation. Everyone roared with laughter. Zhong Yi tilted his head a little, isn't that true? Yao Jinsai nodded, that is the truth. Zhong Yi continued on with more momentum as the audience's mood heightened. He was letting loose his inhibitions as he said. Some people scold me saying that I do not understand what crawlstalk is about and accuse me of insulting this art form. Teacher Yao and I are different, he can be considered as a professional crawlstalk actor and learned about it since he was young. I did not. Those who know me will know that I am in the profession of broadcast hosting. That is what I did for a living, so if we compare me to all those other competitors in this competition, then I am really considered as a layman, but even for a layman, if you accuse me of not knowing what crawlstalk is, then that is unacceptable. If you say that about me, I will definitely bring it up to you. Layman? But a layman who understands crawlstalk? 
Yao Jintsai asked puzzledly, what do you mean? Zhong Yi looked at everyone and said, I don't know what and where those people who are scolding me are coming from, but what exactly would you call understanding crosstalk? How would you know whether or not someone understands what crosstalk is really about? From the area where the hundred teams were seated, someone suddenly shouted, speed recital. At this moment, no one in the audience made a sound. Instead, it was all the other competitors who started to make a scene. Show us one. Yeah, do a speed recital for us. That is one of the basics of crosstalk. Since teacher John claims to know what crosstalk is about, you should show us what you can do. The crosstalk competitors who suggested that were all harboring their own motives. What was a speed recital? It simply meant reciting a string of complex words and vocabulary inserted into a storyline in a continuous breath. In traditional crosstalk, they were often used as joke segments. This was no longer a question of it being a difficult task, as speed recitals were usually practiced and honed from a young age. Those who started learning crosstalk at an older age might not even be able to do it with several years of practice. Even for those who began from a young age and trained under a master, many of them might still find it difficult to do well. It takes a lot of concentration and they would easily commit mistakes or be slow in their recitation. That is the reason why speed recitals were considered to be difficult even for professional crosstalk actors, not to mention a layman. The audience naturally knew this as well. Speed recital? Damn, this bunch of people are messing around again. Teacher Zhong, don't bother about them. This bunch of competitors who couldn't match Zhong Yi's abilities in crosstalking were riding on the wave of disgruntlement of the crosstalk, world in calling for Zhong Yi's disqualification from the competition. This had already pretty much disappointed the audience, but at the studio, the same people were once again trying to cause Zhong Yi's downfall. Many of the audience members were getting angry and felt that those people were really ungrateful. Their abilities were not as good as Zhong Yi's and now they were trying to create trouble for him. Yao Jintsai pretended not to hear it. Speed recital? Even he could not do it. Perhaps if he tried, he could speed recite a small portion. As a supporting actor, he did not learn much about speed recitals. Rather than trying to help Zhong Yi out, he decided it would be better to just ignore their clamor. But Zhong Yi did not ignore them, speed recital? That's right. Right. If you are capable, show us one. The other competitors did not know that they were in a live broadcast at the moment. Thinking that the cameras were not switched to recording mode, they did not hold back at all. Earlier, they were bearing the brunt of Zhong Yi scolding and keeping silent, but now was the time for them to gain back some face. We can't outscold you. Fine, then let's decide it with a clash of abilities. A crosstalk actor's basic skills were honed over a decade or two. They wouldn't believe that Zhong Yi would be able to do a good speed recital, as even among rookies like themselves, only a handful could do it well. Zhong Yi smiled, oh, so in your eyes, a person who can do speed recitals is someone who understands crosstalk? Yao Jintsai made a pass at him. But Zhong Yi acted like he did not notice it, sure then, since there are so many people here today, I believe everyone is also anticipating something? Then, I will do one for all of you here. Is everyone willing to listen or are you all willing to listen? Yao Jintsai said, there's only a choice of willing to listen. Tang Dajan was stunned for a bit. The other crosstalk actors were also slightly befuddled. What did he mean by that? That Zhong guy was really going to do it. Does he even know how? When the audience realized what was going on, they were momentarily shocked. What? Does teacher Zhong really f asterisk asterisk king know how to do a speed recital? It can't be. They were beginning to have some expectations now. Zhong Yi smiled, what does everyone want to hear? A female audience shouted, the imperial feast list. This speed recital had been performed by Zhong Yi before on his talk show, albeit it being a shorter version. He had simply recited the names of a few dishes back then and those who had seen that episode of the talk show, probably thought that Zhong Yi only knew the beginning portion of it. When he heard the request, Zhong Yi smiled and began reciting, I'll treat you to steamed lamb, steamed bear's paw, steamed deer's tail, roast duck, roast hen, roast green goose, stewed pig, stewed chicken, preserved ham, preserved egg, dried ham, sausage, assorted vegetables, 
smoked chicken with tripe, steamed pig with eight treasures, duck brewed with glutinous rice, pot braised pheasant, pot braised quail, simmered chicken giblets in brine, simmered goose in brine, simmered prawns, braised. Shrimps, soy shelled shrimps, pheasant, dried hair meat, chives dumplings, white bait, steamed wood frog, braised duck kidney, braised duck slices, cold dish with duck slices, stir fried cattle aorta, braised white eel, braised finless eel, dace with black bean, pan braised dace, stewed soft shell turtle, pan braised saprinidae, stir fried carp, soft fried pork tenderloin, soft fried chicken, assorted intestine in intestine, crisp rolls with pepper, quick fried mushroom. Quick fried fish paste, quick fried fish slices, quick fried fish more, sauteed meat slices in vinegar sauce, braised white mushroom, braised three delicacies, stir fried white bait, braised sea eel, stir fried white prawn, fried clams, stir fried fish like dough, stir fried bamboo shoot, hibiscus jelly, stir fried liver, southern stir fried liver, stir fried bamboo shoot with sirloin. When this large amount of dish names were recited, their fellow competitors were stunned. Tang Dajang, Xu Wenxiong, and the other crosstalk artists also looked at one another in surprise. No one could have expected Zhong Yi to start without even thinking. He did not even bat an eyelid as the words rolled off his tongue without needing to stop for a breath. When compared to a professional crosstalk actor's speed recital, Zhong Yi had even done it faster and smoother than them. The speed of his recital was like a speeding vehicle. Zhong Yi continued. Red meatballs, white meatballs, quick fried meatballs, deep fried meatballs, three delicacies meatballs, for happiness meatballs, southern style meatballs, onion meatballs, Sioux style meatballs, bean curd meatballs, stewed red meat, stewed white meat, pork stew, fatty pork, roast pork, pork in sauce, pork wrapped in lotus leaf, first class meat, cherry meat, Maya meat, Yuan Bao meat, Fulu meat, red pork elbow, white pork elbow, crystal pork elbow, honey pork elbow, pork elbow stew, pulled pork. Elbow, steamed mutton, roasted mutton, five-spiced mutton, mutton in sauce, assorted boiled meat, assorted stirred fried meat, braised assorted meat, simmered duck innards, three delicacies shark's fin, chestnut chicken, steamed live carp, salted duck meat, spring chicken. He had finished reciting. Not a single dish name was missed out on. The audience were still checking if he had gotten them all and were stunned to realize that he did not miss a single one. Even his partner. Yao Jiansai could only look at him while looking a little confused. He did not know that Zhong Yi even had such talents. F asterisk asterisk K, he could even do speed recitals? Not only could he do it, he even did it better than most professionals? That's impossible. When did this kid learn how to do this? Actually, Zhong Yi did not need to learn it. With the memory search capsule, he had already memorized all the joke segments and speed recitals that he knew of. Being a broadcast host, being able to do this was second nature to Zhong Yi. Even after he had finished reciting, he did not need to catch his breath and still looked rather relaxed. Some crosstalk competitors, who still couldn't believe what they heard, challengingly he shouted, the geographical map. Zhong Yi began immediately at the next moment, rushing to the Northern Pass, walking to Hebei Main Street, Red Bridge, Yang Village, CAI Village, Hexiwu, Anping, Harbor Key, Jiangjia Turn, through Tongju Bali Bridge, into Beijing Chaoyangmen, out at Beijing De Shengmen, into the Qinghe, Shei, Changping County, Nanku, Green Dragon Bridge, Kang Village, Huailai, Shocheng, Baoan, Lower Gardens, Xin Village, Zhuan Wafu, Shilingzi, Yulin, Zhangjiakou, Chaigo Fort, Xiuan, Tian Town, Yanggao County, Jewel Fort, Ju Village, Batong, Gushan, Hongxi Fort, Fong Town, Suji, Jining, Sanfengku, Shibatai, Suizi, Camp Sandao, Camp Chishia, Taoboki. The audience was stunned once again. But Zhong Yi was still not done, continuing like a speeding bullet this time, without losing his breath. Walking into Kinhuangda, Beidai River, Changli County, reaching Luanzhou, Gai, Kaiping to Tangshan. Lu Tai, Hangu, Tanggu, Xinhe 50th Street, Dongxin Village, Junliang City, Xinhe, Zhonggui Village, Second Cultural Palace, Qian Village, Dajagu, Trolleybus Factory, Dorwang Village. Past Liberation Bridge, Binjiang Wei, Heping Road, Nansha, and finally reaching the Great Wall Movie Theater. At this moment, a lot of the audience members stood up. Great. 
Damn F asterisk asterisk King Great. That was too awesome, Teacher Jong. You recited it too beautifully. The applause began to thunder throughout the studio into a deafening roar. Chapter 498, Champions. Not only was the live audience stunned from listening, those who were watching the live stream were also at a loss for words. Damn that. This. Teacher Jong is really going against the heavens. Ha 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 ha. Such domination. The moment was shown in its full glory online, even causing the live stream's comment section to blow up with comments. Previously, Zhong Yi had shown his talents by cracking creative jokes and setting up jokes for later reveals. With his extraordinary wit, he had managed to perform his crawlstalk in a flawless manner and tickled all of the members of the audience, but today, Zhong Yi once again caused everyone to be shocked. No one had expected that he would know how to do speed recitals, and it even seemed like he could recite anything that anyone wanted him to. He was so familiar with these speed recital passages that every word just rolled off his tongue. He had an amazing foundation that left everyone dumbfounded. Who claimed that Zhong Yi only knew how to perform crosstalk with those vulgar jokes of his? He knew how to do traditional joke segments too. And he even did them so much better than a professional crosstalk artist. Tang Da Zhang. Xu Wenxiong's expression also turned dark as he remained silent. Over in the participants' seating area, everyone was just staring with their eyes wide open. They could not make a sound at all. Those who had caused the most commotion earlier had now been slapped hard on their faces. The audience were still clapping. They only came back to their senses when Zhong Yi said, whether it's speed recital or traditional joke segments, it isn't that I don't know how to do them, but because I am not a professional crosstalk performer. However, I dare to make the claim that I can understand more about crosstalk than most crosstalk actors. Let me put this straight now, as long as you can point out a speed recital passage that you want me to perform. I will not step down from the challenge. Any one of you can randomly pick out something and if I get a single word wrong, then I will leave the crawlstalk arena voluntarily. This is what I dare to promise. Yao Jinsai stood at the side applauding as he laughed. The audience were also fully impressed. Dominating. What a fierce person. Teacher Jong is so good. Aya. I love you, Teacher Jong. Ha ha ha. That's the spirit. Who still dares to say that you do not know crosstalk? Even they can't recite those speed recitals that you just did. There was nothing else left for all these crosstalk actors and rookie competitors to say anymore. Since Zhong Yi dared to claim so, they were sure he had the ability to do it. He had already shown them what he was truly capable of. At this moment, the dominating spirit exuding from Zhong Yi had fully suppressed these people. Zhong Yi looked down from the stage and said, if someone knows how to speed recite, then that means they're crosstalk actors. If they know how to use an elegant joke segment, that means they're crosstalk masters. If they can use a crosstalk performance to educate, that means they're crosstalk artists. I disagree and I am sure that our audience members do not agree either. Using such sayings to differentiate between the upper and lower class is utterly savage. Yao Jinsai smiled, yes, it can't be differentiated in this manner. Zhong Yi was getting angrier with each word, a crosstalk performance is required to be educative. What do you want to propagandize with crosstalk? That is definitely the biggest mistake. What were the origins of crosstalk hundreds of years ago about? How did crosstalk start? Those actors were just fighting to earn a living, to feed their families. It was an art form that was meant for everyone. It was that simple, but why did it have to become an elegant art form as decided by you all? Why did it become an art form that had to be educative as decided by you all? Aren't you people forgetting your roots? Aren't you forgetting your ancestors? After a round of scolding, he came back around to scold the crosstalk world. The audience applauded thunderously. Everyone knew that this particular crosstalk performance was already coming to an end. They also knew that this would be Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai's last time standing on stage to perform crosstalk. From here on, it wasn't likely that they would be able to witness their performances ever again. Suddenly, when the audience heard the words that resonated with them, they started standing up from their seats. Zhong Yi said, especially now when our times are changing and society is progressing, there are people who lack money, a car, a house, moral values, all sorts of things. 
For me to be able to stand here today, I can't do much about those issues, but I can guarantee all of you that after you listen to my cross talk, you will forget all these troubles. You will go home happy and cheerful, so what can be more important than that? That is the meaning of cross talk. I am doing all of this to build a righteous and harmonious society. The audience's thunderous applause filled the studio once again. Great. Well said. Yao Jiansai laughed heartily and nodded. Zhong Yi looked at the audience and stated loudly, whoever said so. That crosstalk needs to educate people? Whoever said so. That crosstalks need to have a moral lesson? After listening to this crosstalk, you need to feel like you have learned something? After listening to that crosstalk, you would want to go out afterwards to donate blood, money, or even your kidney. That is impossible. Are we in the act of cross-talking or are we the Red Cross? Are we artists or are we educators? Aren't some authorities asking too much from cross-talk? Aren't some cross-talk actors thinking too highly of themselves? Does calling it an art form mean that it has to be educational to others? The number of audience members who stood up gradually increased. 300. 500. 1000. Zhong Yi was talking louder and louder, is JNG Yun DAG, storytelling in Beijing dialect with drum accompaniment, considered an art form? Then let me ask you this. After you have heard a performance of that, what did you learn? Drums? What can you learn from that? The audience was cheering and clapping madly. Zhong Yi said loudly again, is a symphony an art form? Then let me ask you this. After you have heard a performance, what did you learn? After you finish listening to a symphonic orchestra perform, what did you learn? Another 500 members of the audience stood up in applause. Zhong Yi cheekily asked, are circus acts also an art form? Then let me ask again. When you watch a bear perform tricks, what did you learn? The audience's applauses came wave after wave and were drowning out all other noise in the venue. Zhong Yi said, when 15 circus acts ride on a motorbike together. Did you also get educated by something like that? That they were in violation of traffic rules? Educate my ass. Yao Jiansai laughed, there's really some truth in that. The audience were laughing loudly and applauding. At this moment, it felt like the whole auditorium of people had their blood in pumping in excitement, including those on the second floor. Zhong Yi took a white towel from the table and wiped the sweat from his forehead. Then, he threw it down back on the table roughly, and so I wonder why other forms of art are fine doing what they were meant to do, but us cross-talkers somehow have to fulfill being elegant and educative at the same time. Based on what? We're just two small-time cross-talk actors who have never committed any grave crimes. We just want to bring joy to our audience, so why is that so difficult to do? Why do the others hate us so much? Why do they insist on poking a hole in the sky? What is going on? He breathed a sigh. Zhong Yi pointed to the top of his head and said loudly, I do not believe that a sky so vast will not be able to tolerate our crosstalk. Then, he pointed to his feet and said, I do not believe that the wide ground beneath our feet cannot accommodate the two of us. This was not Gua Di Gang's words, but words from Zhong Yi himself. This was what he had always wanted to say. Yao Jiansai clapped, well said. Off the stage, the time for the performance was already over. Some stage workers had already come onto the stage to clear it to allow for the next group to come on. Zhong Yi and Yao Jiansai did not say anything. They bowed deeply to the audience and turned around to leave the stage. At this moment, the audience suddenly broke out into loud chants. Almost the entire audience, thousands of them, were shouting their names and sounding indignant. Teacher Yao. Zhong Yi. Zhong Yi. Following that, someone took the lead with the chants and shouted a single word. It was a word that expressed what they felt Zhong Yi and Yao Jiansai deserved. Champions. 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 With Zhong Yi and Yao Jiansai's performance completed, they knew that the two of them would surely be disqualified from the competition, but they also knew that only the two of them deserved to be the champions. No one else deserved it. Chapter 499, The Crawstalk and Skit Competition Gets Called Off. Backstage. After they went off stage, 
Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai did not bother making their way back to their auditorium seats as it was meaningless to go back. The two of them went directly to the makeup room to change out of their costumes. Even though they had already gone so far away, they could still hear the chants that emanated clearly from the auditorium. Zhong Yi. Teacher Yao. Champions. The next participants did not begin as the audience did not seem like they wanted to give them a chance to perform. They only had eyes for Zhong Yi's team. Yao Jinsai sighed a little, we've really scolded to our heart's content today. Zhong Yi smiled, I got such a kick out of it too. We really didn't come for nothing. Yao Jinsai laughed, yeah, even though we don't have a chance to advance to the main matches or go on a live broadcast, after seeing so many in the audience support us this way, I know we were really right to come here. Zhong Yi stood up, let's go. Yao Jinsai said, it's just such a pity that our scolding segments were not seen by anyone else other than the live audience. Zhong Yi did not say anything, but felt relaxed. A. Eh? Yao Jinsai suddenly said, why is there a burning smell? Zhong Yi sniffed a little, yeah, I smell it too, I hope it's not a fire. Leaving the makeup room, they looked in the same direction and saw many staff members moving in and out. A few of them even had dark expressions of lingering fear. Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai looked at each other and understood something at this moment. Could there really have been a fire? The other sighed. A group of people were continuously streaming in. What happened? Leader, a portable charger exploded just now and the control room is on fire. What did I say? Ah? What did I say yesterday? I said to ensure that there would be no problems, so how could did this happen again? So why did this happen again? Ah. We didn't want this to happen either, but. No buts. Just take a look at the live broadcast signal now. Live broadcast signal? We already cut to commercials. Yes, there shouldn't have been a problem. The fire was not too big and was under control. Only a few cabinets and articles of clothing were damaged, but our control equipment was, ah. Why is the live broadcast signal showing the auditorium's feed? This. Who switched the controls? Why is the white switch pointed up? Who did this? Heavens. Zhong Yi and Yao Jensai's crosstalk was live streamed again? What the heck is going on here? This is already the third day that something like this has happened. Everything was now a big mess. The person in charge quickly sought to cut off the video signal, while the angry Central TV's leaders looked on in furiousness. His heart had gone cold knowing the big trouble that they were in for. When it happened the first time, they had gotten away with it. The second time, they were forgiven as well, but this was already the third time that it had happened. The National Crawstalk and Skit competition had given band artists a live broadcast three times in as many days, so all of the consequences were now out of their control. Even Central TV's Department 11 might not be able to hold up against the authorities anymore. To everyone else, it was clearly an act of defiance towards the authorities. But only their team's internal staff knew this. Of course, they would not have gone against the orders of the management. Even if they had 100 lives, they would not dare to do so. The first time was because of a misunderstanding. The second time was due to a fault in the backup signals. The third time had happened due to a fire causing a wrong control to be pressed. Each time it happened was due to accidents and the program team no longer knew how to explain it without sounding like they were making up excuses. Their impression of Zhong Yi at the beginning was already not good, but after all these events, they even felt like they hated him. That fellow was truly a jinx. He was even exuding a sense of weirdness from head to toe. It made everyone speechless. Central TV's leaders did not bother to give them a dressing down. After giving them several tasks to do, they immediately went off to an emergency meeting to clear up the issues with the authorities. Outside the makeup room. Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai also found out about this matter from the dialogues of several passing staff members. Yao Jinsai. Zhong Yi was already smiling. Luckily for him, the difficulty adjustment die's effect duration was for six days. It was already the third day today and if the die roll only gave him two days of reduced difficulty, it wouldn't have been enough. Upon overhearing the passing staff, he knew it was the credit of the difficulty adjustment die again. 
In front, the program team's person in charge had brought a few other staff and hurried over. When he saw Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai, his face sunk as he said, I was just looking for the two of you. Zhong Yi looked at him, what's the matter? The person in charge said coldly, I am officially informing both of you that you have been disqualified from the competition due to policy violations. With your performance containing elements of the three vulgarities that has caused disruption to the crosstalk competition, misleading the audience, conveying negative information, and negatively affecting other competitors. Right now, all votes towards your team will be voided, so we will need you to pack up your belongings and leave the premises immediately. Zhong Yi said, if you want to disqualify us from the competition, I have no problem with that. But if you say that our performance violated policies by stirring up other competitors and misleading the audience, then I will not accept it. He blocked their path and continued, when did I mislead the audience? When did you see me stirring up our competitors? They were the ones who tried to turn everyone against us, so did I affect them, or did they affect me? Old Yao and I were just performing our crosstalk and we did not offend anyone from the beginning, but somehow, these bunch of people started scolding me and now you claim that I was affecting them. I will affect your great-grandpa. A staff stared and said, how dare you scold us? John Yi. The person in charge nearly blew his top. He was the head of a national crosstalk and skit competition program that was the top-rated show every year, so he was quite famous in the industry. Whenever most celebrities or actors saw him, they would definitely treat him with a lot of respect. Who would have dared to speak to him in this manner? What did a celebrity depend on? They depended on popularity. How could they gain popularity? They definitely need a platform to gain popularity. Because of this reason, most celebrities did not dare offend people from the television stations, but this John guy standing in front of him did not follow the industry's rules and just scolded as he liked. He totally did not treat him with any respect. Of course, John Yi would not treat him with respect. He had already hit rock bottom and had nothing to lose from being banned, so what was he afraid of? Even if he treated the person in charge with respect, it would not have helped him to get on TV anyway, so why should he be respectful at this point? Who the hell did that person think he is? A commotion had started over here. Yao Jiantsai was trying to settle it peacefully by saying, forget it, old bro don't take it up with these bunch of people. On the web. The crosstalk and skit competition program's notice of Zhong Yi and Yao Jiantsai's disqualification had been posted online. When it was released, many people got angry about it even though they knew it was inevitable. This bunch of grandsons? That bunch of grandsons? I'll never watch the crosstalk competition ever again. Zhong Yi spoke so well. Are those people blind? They can't even differentiate between what's good and what's bad. The point of crosstalk is to entertain the audience, but those aren't people being dumb to insist that it has to be elegant and educative? Do we fucking need you to educate us? Who do you think you are? They even used a reason like, misleading the audience? That's really laughable. I think it's the program team and the crosstalk world's people who are the ones trying to mislead us instead. The audience enjoyed Teacher Zhong and Teacher Yao's work, but it's only you people who dislike it. So you're forcing their disqualification by claiming that their work was disastrous and ruined the people. I would like to put out this question of who are the ones who are really misleading the audience. I like Zhong Yi too much. If Zhong Yi is no longer participating, then I wouldn't bother with this lousy program anymore. Yeah, they want to boycott Teacher Zhong? Then we will boycott the crosstalk competition instead. That's right. Count me in. All of a sudden, countless people had gone onto the crosstalk competition's website to scold them. At the competition venue. In the participant seating area. A youth was holding his cell phone and waving it around saying, Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai have been disqualified. An official notice was posted by the program team. Another middle-aged crosstalk actor nodded, haha, they're finally being chased away. A rookie crosstalk actor whispered to his partner, with Zhong Yi gone, those people who were supporting him will come to us now. His partner replied softly, when the two of them were here, the audience was only interested in him. We know that from the vote statistics, but now that he's gone, those votes will come to us instead. Our popularity can only surge ahead now. No one would do something if there wasn't anything to gain from it. 
these bunch of people had tried so hard to bring down Zhong Yi because there was something to gain from it. That was what most of them had in mind. The next team had already gone on stage for their performance which was live broadcasted. It was Tang Dazhang's disciples, Zhong Xiao and Liu Yuan, but what was surprising was that after the hosts had announced their team, there was barely any applause for them. The paltry applause that was heard was very sparse and mainly came from the front row where the Crawstalk World's members were seated. The duo began their performance. But the audience members were no longer interested. Their craving had already been satisfied after listening to Zhong Yi and Yao Jintsai's performance. They did not want to listen to crosstalks by anyone else anymore. It was difficult to listen any further. It was the same online and no one was watched the live stream anymore. As Zhong Xiao and Liu Yuan performed on stage, they could feel the disinterest from the audience. Many people had their heads lowered, checking their cell phones or chatting amongst themselves. There weren't many people who were seriously listening to them at all. When one of the joke segments that Zhong Xiao was very proud of was executed, he waited for their response, but there was hardly any laughter coming from below the stage and was abuzz with sounds of conversations. The competition atmosphere was getting very awkward and poor. When Zhong Xiao and Liu Yuan noticed this, they were particularly affected by it and could not carry on with their performance. It's like this. So the moon, ah, uh, so the sun. Zhong Xiao and Liu Yuan's performance was full of mistakes. When their master Tang Dazhang saw this, his face turned cold and his hands shivered. Why did it turn out this way? What was the audience doing? Do you all even understand what art is? My two disciples are clearly better than Zhong Yi, but why was no one listening? It was an extremely awkward scene. The Crawstalk World's veterans did not look too well either. When the program team noticed this, they began to panic. Without any interest from the audience, the actors would be badly affected. How could the competition move on if that happened? After 10 minutes, it was time for another team's performance. The third team. The fourth team. But the situation did not turn any better. Many people from the audience were leaving early as they streamed out of the venue. They'd rather go home or go for a meal instead of watching this any further. The program team's mood had totally changed by now. They had a very bad feeling about all of this. Those competition participants who had boycotted Zhong Yi and called for his disqualification were now left cold in their hearts. They had initially thought that if their two strongest foes were disqualified, the rest would be able to get a share of their votes and would increase their chances of advancing. So when they saw that the Crawstalk World's veterans boycotting Zhong Yi and with the encouragement from them, they had joined them in calling for Zhong Yi's team to be disqualified. If they could get rid of him, they would have gained a lot from it, but now, the outcome was totally different from what they had thought would be. Indeed Zhong Yi had gone down, but they did not move up at all. Not only that, they did not even get any attention from the audience as they had chosen to ignore the competition. With Zhong Yi scolding from today, he had all been brought down together with him. Many of them finally realized that Zhong Yi's introduction of a new style of crosstalk was actually beneficial for the world of crosstalk. Zhong Yi had used his amazing talent to attract countless new audience members. He attracted those that did not watch crosstalk or those that had left due to being disappointed with the state of crosstalk, and brought them back to noticing this art form and these crosstalk actors again. Zhong Yi had been trying to make the cake bigger so that everyone could have a share, and this would have been a good thing for Crawstalk as it would have brought about progress for them. Yet, this was not noticed by them while Zhong Yi was treated as a thorn in their sides. As for Zhong Yi and the Crawstalk world's complete division, it had been noticed by the audience as well. Those who had actually enjoyed Crawstalk had now given up on them as they chose to support Zhong Yi instead. The disqualification had not affected Zhong Yi much, as his name had now been noticed by everyone. His work was now recognized by the masses. In fact, it was the Crawstalk world which was hurt from Zhong Yi's disqualification from the competition. Zhong Yi had left having taken a large chunk of the Crawstalk world's flesh along with him. It had further reduced the number of loyal fans of the art form from its already small fan base. Someone had checked on the Celebrity Rankings website and discovered another shocking truth. This was not a guess, but a fact that was backed up by real data. Tang Dazhang's ranking had slid back down. For the past few days, he had been in first place on the D-list and he had nearly broken through into the C-list rankings, but now, he was ranked fifth place on the D-list, dropping four places. 
crawstalk artist, Master Xu Wenxiong rank had also fallen. He was an extremely experienced crawstalk veteran and was rather popular as well, but that was now a thing of the past as he was ranked at the front of the E-listers. After today's incident and Zhang Yi's crawstalk performance, Xu Wenxiong's ranking had dropped drastically and his name was now floating in the middle of the E-list rankings. As for the crawlstalk world's other mainstream actors, competition participants, and those rookies, all of their rankings declined at different rates. The collective members of the crawlstalk world had their popularity negatively affected. This was something of a shock that none of them had expected. But for Zhong Yi and Yao Jiantsai? After their first performance, their popularity had already started to increase. When the second and third performances were done, Zhong Yi was no longer in the last few positions of the C list rankings but had moved into the middle positions instead. It wasn't even the lower half of the middle positions, but rather the upper half, and that was just after three crawlstalk performances. From the last position to the mid top positions on the C list. The increase in popularity was shocking. With this momentum, as long as he worked a little harder this year, he might even be able to reach the B list rankings before the end of the year. It could even happen before the middle of the year, but of course, that would depend on whether his ban was lifted or not. Otherwise, he probably did not have a shot at all. Zhong Yi's popular had soared too much this time. The C list was a completely different concept from the D and E lists. The higher ranked lists had fewer celebrities and there was a fixed number of artists in each list, with the difficulty increasing the higher the list went. When Zhong Yi had risen from the bottom to the middle of the D list previously, the difficulty level of that compared to him rising from the bottom to the middle of the C list was totally different. Why did his popularity increase so much? It was because the audience and viewers liked him. Back then, when Zhong Yi was lecturing about the Three Kingdoms, talking about the dream of the Red Chamber, composing poetry and lyrics, writing couplets, writing supernatural novels, writing fairy tales, and many other things, all of these activities had helped him to gain some audiences and supporters. There were some people who started paying attention to him and his reputation grew, but he was still not watched by everyone in the country. Even when he did his talk show, not everyone would accept it. In his previous world, talk shows in the country were not exactly watched by everyone. What's more, in this world, talk shows were unheard of before he introduced it over here. For him to gain fame, he would have to slowly work his way up. This was why since Zhong Yi debuted, he had to fight for every bit of fame he could get. Becoming an overnight star did not happen to him, nor would it ever happen. But the crawlstalk competition this time allowed him to gain a lot of fame in a short time. Decree number 43's ban, and John Yi's participation in the crawlstalk competition had laid out the infinite anticipation of the audience. He was attracting a lot of attention at the moment, as even this form of artistic performance had quite a good following as this art form had a very good audience base, and the market had been built up for some time already. On top of that, the National Crawlstalk and Skit competition was a very well-watched event and would be repeated on broadcast even after it was over. With Zhong Yi bringing over the works of Guo Digang into this world and his disagreements with the Crawlstalk world, it created discussions and attention that was unforeseen. Thus, with all of that adding up, Zhong Yi's reputation grew rapidly and brought him a step closer to the B-list celebrity rankings. This was a case of being in the right place at the right time and not something that could be achieved just because of a good piece of work. For example, in his previous world, Guo Digang had to use over 10 years to go from being an unknown person to climbing to the top of the crawlstalk world. Yet Zhong Yi only used three days and had already achieved some results. He knew that he was lucky this time. As for Yao Jintsai, his popularity had risen ferociously as well. Old Yao had already moved up to the top of the D-list rankings and wasn't too far from breaking into the C-list. A lot of people saw these rankings on Weibo. Wow. Teacher Zhong's popularity is so high. Holy sure asterisk T. Why did his popularity increase so much? He's headed for the B-list celebrities at this rate. Old Yao isn't doing bad either. Those two old brothers have surely increased their popularity by quite a lot this time. Even though they were disqualified, they gained a lot from this competition as well. The masses' eyes are clear to the ongoings of all that had happened. Look at Tang, Tang Dajang and those other crawlstalk actors, ha ha. Their popularity has dropped by so much. 
They totally deserved it. The audience isn't stupid. They know how to differentiate between the good and bad. Suddenly, at this moment, the Crawstalk competition's live broadcast was cut. A lot of the viewers did not understand what was going on, what happened. The live broadcast has stopped. Is there a problem again? Shortly after, a notice from the SARFT was released to explain that this year's national crosstalk and skit competition would be cancelled effective immediately and would not be broadcasted any further. It's being taken off air? What? Ha ha ha. Well done for this halt. That's what you get for scolding teacher Jong. Well done for this halt. If Zhong Yi can't perform any further, then none of you will get to perform either. The netizens were gloating. This hit the Central TV Department 11's program team and the whole of the Crawstalk world like a lightning bolt. The program had only just begun and the preliminaries were still being held. Stop broadcasting? And stop immediately? They knew that this was the fallout from the authorities no longer being able to bear their continuous mistakes in airing footage of banned artists. The program team's person in charge slumped back heavily into his chair. Zhong Xiao and Liu Yuan, as well as the rest of the participants, were feeling saddened. After getting rid of Zhong Yi, not only did they not manage to get a share of his votes, they were now even unable to take part in the competition anymore. This struck them like a bolt of lightning and they were going crazy about it. The one who was most affected was probably Tang Dazhang. He had been about to gain the status as a C-list celebrity in the celebrity rankings, but each time, he was denied by Zhong Yi. The competition was about to begin the semi-final round where he was scheduled to appear on the live broadcast as a judge, but there wasn't even a chance to do so now. He wouldn't even get the chance to appear on a live broadcast. Zhong Yi. This was all because of Zhong Yi. At this moment, everyone could only think of this jinx's name. On this day. The contestants were all feeling hurt. The Crawstalk World's members were all feeling hurt. Chapter 500, Wooing Sis Wu. Afternoon. It was cold out on the streets, but hints of spring could be felt. Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai emerged from the mess in Central TV's Department 11 and slipped out of the compound. Their mood was surprisingly good. Behind them, some people also gradually made their way out. One of the participants said, how unlucky. A crawstalk rookie said, how did it end up like this? Outside the compound, a few participants, who had been eliminated during the second round, were smoking when they saw them and asked curiously, hey, old Wang, old son, teacher Chen, what are you all doing outside at this time? Didn't all of you qualify for the third round? It should be your turn to perform soon, right? Why are you all leaving? One of them replied, Hi, don't mention it anymore. A middle-aged crawstalk actor said, Don't you all know? The live broadcast was stopped and the competition has been cancelled. It's all over. The SARFT has already ordered this year's competition to be cancelled. The few eliminated participants were stunned and asked in surprise, What? How could that happen? One of the young participants was almost on the verge of tears, it's all because of the mess that was caused by Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai. Central TV's Department 11 continuously made mistakes and allowed them to get live broadcasted day after day. This angered the authorities and their patients finally snapped and handed down a heavy punishment. The targets were supposed to be Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai, but it has now even affected all of us while Central TV and the crawstalk world's reputation has suffered greatly. We were still discussing how Zhong Yi was such a jinx and whoever got in his way would surely suffer from bad luck. Everyone put in so much effort for the competition this time, but all of that has gone to waste now. The participants were dejectedly walking away when they suddenly saw Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai ahead of them. Their expressions changed as they looked like they just wanted to get out of compound quickly to avoid the jinx. These were the people who had called for a boycott of Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai. Some of them even sent out open letters denouncing them as they played along to the tune of the Crawstalk world, which had been aggressively denouncing Zhong Yi, but now, their expressions were no longer arrogant like they had been before. Their body language showed a sense of defeat as their opposition to Zhong Yi and Yao Jinsai this time had ended in complete and utter failure. They gained nothing. They did not become popular like they thought they would have. They even got into trouble? How could this happen? 
Behind them, the other mainstream crawlstalk artists and members of the Folk Arts Association were all looking glum. They had been the partners and organizers of the crawlstalk competition every year, but this year's cancellation left a very big dent in their reputations. This is too much. That John Guy. This was a damn hooligan. Countless of crawlstalk actors were scolding John Yi. At this moment, John Yi and the crawlstalk and folk art world had completely parted ways. On the road. Zhong Yi was driving while making a beat by tapping on his steering wheel. Yao Jintsai was in the front passenger seat where he was singing Peking Opera along to the beat. Their mood was extremely good. Finally, Zhong Yi said, Are you going home? Yao Jintsai stopped singing and said, Yes, home. I've been overworked these past few days and I'm feeling so tired. I just want to get home and have a good sleep. Then I'll send you back home first. Zhong Yi asked, What do you intend to do from tomorrow onwards? Yao Jintsai gave a wave of his hand and said, What else can I do? The ban is still in effect and I can't do crawlstalk anymore either. I guess there are no other things I can do for now, so I will probably stay home to rest and recharge my batteries. I can also accompany my wife more now and she wouldn't be able to complain that I've been spending too much time outside doing filming. She can't make me go out and film now even if she wants me to. Zhong Yi said, that's not a bad thing, though. Old Yao still sounded rather optimistic. Perhaps it was because he was still feeling good from the crawlstalk performance earlier. On top of that, with the stoppage of the competition, the crawlstalk world's reputation had also dropped and that made him very happy. All of these things had happened precisely because of him and Zhong Yi, because of your blessings, this old bro has finally gained a great increase in the celebrity rankings. The ten odd, twenty TV dramas that I starred in, together with those six or seven movies could not have brought me such a great increase in popularity like I experienced today. I guess after I've had enough rest, I will go and do some commercial performances. Earlier, someone from my company informed me that there have been people asking about my availability to take part in ribbon cuttings, weddings, and what not. They offered a very high price for it too, so what do you think? Are you interested? If you are interested, we can take up some commercial performances. They will definitely up their offer, so how about we do this together? Zhong Yi waved his hand, I won't take up commercial performances. Are you for real? Yao Jintsai asked. Zhong Yi laughed and said, how can I not be for real? I don't even have an agent. Yao Jintsai laughed. I've heard that you didn't take up offers for commercial performances before as those interested parties could not even reach you. I didn't think much of it before, but I didn't expect you to be for real. This old bro here is not reaching for a target as high as you. I just want to earn enough money to support my family. Yao Jintsai's eyes focused on a long-legged beauty sitting outside of a coffee place for the longest time before he turned back around. So what's your plan? Zhong Yi said helplessly, I don't know, I guess I will just stay at home. Regarding the matter of crawlstalk, Zhong Yi had, with the help of Yao Jintsai, caused a very big ruckus. Although they did not become the champions, they had gone much further than Zhong Yi had expected. As for which path he would now go on towards, Zhong Yi was still undecided. He was still thinking about how to get out of the artist ban list since if it didn't get lifted. Zhong Yi would basically have no way to move forward in the entertainment industry. The five times lower difficulty would still be effective for the next three and a half days, so he should make use of this time to find a way around the ban. Otherwise, once the lower difficulty effect was over, it would be extremely difficult for him to make his comeback. He dropped of old Yao at the entrance of the district, turned his car around, and went back onto the road without a destination. He was just driving and wandering about in on the city roads. Oh right, the cell phone was still switched off. When he switched it back on, his cell phone rang immediately. Son. Mom. Why did the competition get cancelled? Haha, <laughs> I don't know why. They got what they deserved. If you can't stay in it, then they should forget about being able to do it as well. Little Jong. Hi, former leader. You're really great. A national crawlstalk and skit competition can be thrown into a mess all because of you. Why can't you take some time to stay out of all these troubles? Ha ha. It's not my fault that this happened. You should know exactly what kind of person I am. 
I never like causing trouble. Ha ha, come on you. Zhong Yi. Old Tian, you went to the venue as well. I saw you. Heh, your eyes are really sharp then. I saw it all. Your crosstalk was really too godly. Listening to it live really left my adrenaline rushing, ha 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 ha. You're really the best. That bunch of crosstalk world members were probably crying after continuously being scolded by you for two days. Even the annual crosstalk competition has been cancelled and those crosstalk actors' popularity are all plummeting. They really lost it all this time. That mouth of yours is really the most vicious in the entertainment industry. You can kill someone with your scolding and even bring someone back to life with it. I doubt that they will dare to take you lightly from now on. His cell phone was constantly ringing with calls from his friends. Some sent messages to congratulate him for being able to increase his popularity while he was still banned, and for destroying the crosstalk competition, etc., etc., etc. John Yi replied them one by one and spent a whole day doing so. Not long after, there was only one last message to reply to. It wasn't an SMS, but a message from a chat app. He focused on the message from Water Lotus Moon, or better known as Wu Ziqing, the vice president of Peking University. He had not had a chat online in a long time. Water Lotus Moon, you created a quite a wave. John Yi replied, I was just talking nonsense. After a few seconds, DIDI, and a reply came in, just talking nonsense and you brought down an entire nation's top-rated program. Zhong Yi stopped his car by the side of the road to reply, I couldn't help it. They were bullying me and trying to get me banned, so I could only break through wherever I could find an opening. Water Lotus Moon, your performance was quite good. I heard it. I never expected that you would know Crawstalk. Zhong Yi, there's no use in that. The competition has been stopped and I can only stay at home now. Hoping for your consolation, big sis. Water Lotus Moon, haha, how should I console you? John Yi, cough, cough. With a picture? Water Lotus Moon, oh, what pictures do you want? John Yi blinked and refrained from saying that he wanted nudes, so he sent over, whatever is fine, anything. Usually, he wouldn't dare speak like this if he stood before President Wu in real life. Her authority and status was too high for him, but when he chatted online with Water Lotus Moon, Zhong Yi's tone became more natural and easygoing. Of course, no matter how easygoing his tone was, Zhong Yi still had to put on a brave front to ask for a picture. There was no response from the other end. After about half a minute, a message came in. Zhong Yi quickly checked the incoming message and saw a photo being sent over. When it was successfully downloaded, he clicked on it and the picture opened up on his screen. It was a landscape photo taken from shoulder level pointing downwards into the neckline of a coffee brown loose sweater. The neckline was revealed slight a deep cleavage, accompanied by the fair skin of her breasts. It was especially dazzling. If there were three ways to describe Sis Wu's breasts, then it would definitely be, big. Too big. Too damn big. Although this was not the first time viewing Wu Ziqing's photos, and he had even helped her take such pictures before in real life, but after viewing such a picture again, Zhong Yi was still amazed at how big they were. Yes, it was so fair that it left Zhong Yi feeling thrilled. In the photos, a pair of slippers could be seen beside her left leg and in front of her was a chopping board and knife. It looked like there were freshly chopped mushrooms and pork ribs. Zhong Yi swallowed his saliva and sent over, beautiful. Water Lotus Moon replied with a smiley face, thank you. Zhong Yi, you're preparing dinner? She was at home. Water Lotus Moon, yes, it's almost time for dinner. Have you eaten yet? Zhong Yi, not yet, I just left Central TV. Water Lotus Moon, then the timing is just right. Come over to eat. It's more meaningful than me eating by myself. Zhong Yi replied, is that okay? Water Lotus Moon, haha, what's there to stand on ceremony with Big Sis for? Zhong Yi immediately replied, then I will respect your orders. I will there immediately. Water Lotus Moon, well, no need to rush. Putting down his cell phone, Zhong Yi took two deep breaths and looked at the picture that she had sent over once more. He could no longer wait, so he quickly drove his car towards Dauran Pavilion. At this timing, this place would usually have a traffic jam. 
The city's traffic junctions were very dense and close in intervals, but probably because of the difficulty adjustment dies effect, Zhong Yi did not get caught in a jam along the way. Not only that, from where he was to Daoran Pavilion Garden's east gate, there were a total of 15 to 16 traffic junctions, in which all were showing the green light. There was totally no obstruction. The difficulty adjustment was too obvious. When he was almost at the destination, Zhong Yi suddenly thought of something. How would he try to solve the matter of being banned? He did not know and had not started thinking about it yet, but since there were still three and a half days left of the reduced difficulty effect, Zhong Yi was not going to meet with any obstruction of any kind for the next few days, so he decided that he could do something within his control for now. Something that he could never have achieved if it was not for the difficulty adjustment die, something like, wooing sis Wu. Can support us completed novel house in link below clip. Thank you for coming and love the sharing story.